Hello, everybody. Oh, it's Tuesday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to Hello. have you all here. How is everybody doing? Oh, so, well, that kicks in and we start getting all kinds of feedback. I keep forgetting to put my pop up. Well, something has to go wrong, as yeah. we usually say. That's right. Well, this wasn't too bad. And I would say, let's hope. I can't see the chat yet unless you're telling me something really went bad. Uh, there we go. No, they're saying, heck yes, here we go. <laughs> and even relatively on time. So, you know, things are, it's looking like it's going to be a good night. Uh, let's knock on. The yeah, that's there. right. And a little here. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Good to have you here. See some new faces. Um, there's lots more pour in within the next five minutes or so. Um, anybody here new? Um, we're a husband and wife team out of Montreal. Can we lower that a little bit? I don't know. Hang on. Uh, no, I'm not going to play with it because I'm going to end up getting somebody seasick. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to end up. <laughs> we're going to end up freaking the most. Well, if you don't mind floating heads in there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel like. Yeah. Everybody likes that picture, anyway. So there you go. And anybody who asked that picture, we took it ourselves. Uh, um, this guy did it. Yeah, but she's the main photographer. You always see our <laughs> Instagram links, by the way, in our. Um, yeah, they're always pinned in our comments or our videos. Please go check out Xenia's photography. She's phenomenal. This video was um, uh, this uh, image I took in Ljubljana, Slovenia, and uh, you can actually see it in our photo series on uh, YouTube, uh, Living Photo Series. They're usually out every uh, Sunday night, and um, yeah. Uh, we did all of Europe, all the countries we've been into and territories, which was 25 the first week. We've done uh, Budapest last week. We've done Jungfrau. I think that's Do you it. know so what's coming up? Nope. I'm going to have to go through my pictures tonight or something like that and try and figure it out. So, as I say, we got some new people. Uh, you've probably seen I always write. If you're new, I try to write the first time what we are. So you got a bit of an idea. We're out of Montreal. We're a video and photography team, my wife and I. My wife is originally from Latvia, and the name is pronounced Pusha. And Pusha is a town in Latvia, in eastern in uh, eastern Latvia, where her mom grew up. So he named it after her. So for those who didn't know, now you do. Yep. <laughs> uh, for those who did know, it's a refreshing course into who we are. That's right. So I'm sure you guys love hearing about us. You guys have been here a long time. You can never hear those stories enough. So... Look at all, look at this, nice mix, new and old. I love it, I love it. Not new and old, new and returned, excuse me. I'll yeah, take the old one. Yeah, 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 you don't want to offend you anybody. Know, exactly, look at like R.T. Jake, Obi Scott, welcome. I seen Obi Scott the other night in uh, Craft Beer Pours uh, stream, which was really good. Oh, yes. Yeah, they're great. Uh, we're still trying to get them on. There was, she was a bit nervous, but now she sounds ready, so we got to get in touch with them and get them booked on. Definitely. Tyler, fellow Canadian, uh, who's not a, he, who has been here before. Uh, Shayar Erickson, welcome. I think you were here before, right, Shayar? I'm pretty sure. I remember your. Uh, I know your uh, your channel, but I just uh, I have an awful memory. This is why I don't do this too often. No, Philip Cochran, Cochran, you're not old. That was me. She said that. Giggles, welcome. Good to have you here. Welcome to the channel. Oh, and if you wondered what I've been busy not looking at you guys, oh. I've been tweeting the stream out, and you should be busy with that too right about now. <laughs> oh, she's in bossy mode tonight, guys. Look out. Oh. She means business. No, if you guys can, that's the one thing that really, really does help us is if it's streamed. Uh, it's, um, if it's shared? Yeah. If you can get the word out, that really does help us a lot, and we really appreciate it. We'll not badger you all through the show, but we do ask the Maybe beginning, middle, and yeah, I'm gonna try and keep her at a at a Zane. Welcome. There's another channel I just found today. Really great stuff. Uh, there's no time. Wow, that's a, po a poetry. Yeah. Warping words, there is wow. no time. Warping past, lost and blind. You shed a tear within your mind. All the heavens are combined. How Welcome nice is that? to our state of mind. That's really nice. I love that. Yes. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, tweet away. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, Donnie. Are you at work? Are you <laughs> watching us at work again? And by the way, thank you for that hilarious... Uh, video today yeah that was good uh, yes it's yeah. funny uh thank you for the laugh um uh, yesterday we had a very good laugh yeah and yesterday we had mr Furberger <laughs> on for those of you who don't know he's running for 
and mayor of Toronto. So yeah. uh, he was campaigning yesterday on our channel. And uh, just got to proceed else. with caution. It's 18 plus. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. If you're ready for that, then dare to check it out. Or if you're if you're offended week. by foul language and that, yeah, please do yourself a favor and uh, just watch the first couple of minutes to say hi, to see us say hi to you. And then, yeah, maybe you might want to move on. But the guy is honestly... I was so blown away by him last night, and I've seen his work before, and I thought he was funny. But, like, talking to him last night, realizing just this guy is something else. Like, I mean, he's a... Yeah. He, he's a groundbreaker. It, it, it was funny, but it's also it's interesting because uh, you, for those of you who have seen his show on other channels and on his own channel, uh, this time he also opened up a little bit more about himself yeah. and about his background uh, on a little bit of serious note. I appreciated uh, that, too. With the joke, so... Yep. I think you got him uh, to talk a bit more about hmm. that. And I think that's what's interesting ab about him and different about our show that we always try to get to something a little bit different yep. about the creator behind the channel uh, so we get to know them more. Yep, that's right. Be back in a, f a few. Fail. Oh, okay. No problem. Be well. T. Jake is also watching us at work. <laughs> Excellent. Well, it, it's Just not don't nice. get in trouble. Yes, we do not want to get anybody in trouble, but we so appreciate the effort. And guys, we always have the motto here: "Real life comes first. Any time you spend with us is hugely appreciated. So there's yeah. never a short amount of time. Your time is important and it's valuable. And to share any of it with us, we consider it a great, great honor to have you here. Uh, Cameraton was asking, is Furberger gone? Meaning if it's safe to enter. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, but uh, that was yesterday. But nevertheless, we're trying to diversify our content. Uh, so don't be surprised if sometimes there's something similar in one of our streams yeah. uh, where, uh, you know, guests are different. There are whole different uh, types of channels on YouTube and therefore we're trying to uh, present also different types of guests that's uh, right. on, on our channel as so well. So would you like to say hi to everybody that's here? Yeah, so I, can, I, was, I was, <laughs> just started but then I didn't want to interrupt you. <laughs> oh no, is this the first time? Well, Bits of Real Panther uh, is here. Uh, well, Always well, great well, to have well, Bits of Real well, Panther well, here, so that's great to turn. see. So that's no, no problem. Jose, you're back. <laughs> so good to have you here. I guess we can mention it. I'll just get the Oh, for anybody new here, if Xenia goes crazy, my safety word is potato sack. So if you're a potato sack, please let me know. Let me talk. <laughs> I want to talk. And yes, bottle cops, I already know what you think. <laughs> it's, it's probably not even there. Yeah. <laughs> There's only two of us. That's too much. One too many. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Okay, so I'll start from the top. Okay, yeah. so ATGH travels is going to be back in a minute. Uh, bits of real path or said already. Uh, cats, shark vids is in custom cards. Please stay. We're we are uh, we are past the comedy today. We are on the serious note and back to a regular program. Um, uh, yeah, so Johnny, <laughs> my bits of real pants are my safety word is more. <laughs> Oh my, that <laughs> can get pretty confusing. By uh, that's um, good. So, from those who you didn't, <coughs> a railroad expert yeah, is in. Yeah. Uh, T. Srog, of course. Thank you, and thank you for the follow on Instagram. Uh, Terrell uh, mm -hmm. and that murder Inc. And this natural journey, who is going to be uh, our guests in uh, a little bit less than two weeks' time, mm -hmm. uh, within hiking distance, another guest of ours next. No, also in two weeks' time. My God, where's yep. uh, Zane, as we mentioned, Poetic Zane, uh, Trish D. Um, yeah. And uh, Hosier, by the way, for those of you who don't know, and probably nobody knows, oh. is going to be on Friday. Well, they know of him. They didn't know he's going to be on the way. He says, like, nobody will know him. Well, it was because you whispered off. So I'm just no, clearing the air. Said, for those of you who don't know, meaning don't know that he's going to be on Friday, and, like, nobody knows. <laughs> we just go with confirmation. Best friend in your thread is here. I don't know if she can oh, hear she us yet. So I'm going to yeah, say, yeah. She can't hear Let's us. Let's tie to her. Oh, well, Hi. yeah, maybe. Uh, who knows? Uh... Uh, we're tr still trying to recover from yesterday. Yeah, oh. us too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> uh, cats, uh, shark ribs. Uh, uh, yes, it's going to take a while to recover from yesterday, but uh, I think next week uh, we're going to have some very, I wouldn't say the same, but uh, quite um, interesting character as well. 
Uh, so uh, uh, we'll keep that under wraps uh, for now. You gotta run now. Yes. Yeah, I just uh, was literally typing to her. See uh, you back. Uh, I, just say hi uh, when you come home. There, I wrote hi, best turn your thread, and then LOL by <laughs> your thread. Well, that was a nice little visit. See, your time is important. Railroad expert, how often do you see a Canadian Pacific or a Canadian National in Canada? All the time. We live in Montreal here by the yard. I don't get to see them where I live, but uh, Canadian Pacific, not so much. There's They have their own line through Montreal. It splits once it leaves the island. Uh, probably the main line, it's probably six, seven times a day. And CN a lot. CN every couple hours, except for in the morning and that. So uh, there was also somebody had asked, where are we here? Shire Erickson. I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. Please apologize. I, I apologize, accept my apologies. I'm not. So, how long have you guys been on YouTube? Uh, YouTube, I think we're 2016, I think. Yeah, but the, uh, we weren't um, too active at, at first uh, mm. because our channel really didn't start as a YouTube channel. Uh, it was more created as a side uh, for our day-to-day -day business, yeah. which is uh, photo and video for clients, business and private. That's right. And which honor. it still is, yeah. uh, but we now we also <laughs> expanded more into uh, YouTube. Uh, it started more for Andrew to be able to post uh, his videos, his cinematic yep. videos, as we can uh, see on our channel. Well, here I'll tell you what you're doing that because you're long and that I'm losing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and, and then uh, so it was always on and off. It wasn't any regular regularity or any purpose um, more than that. But then I think uh, in February, I think we. Uh, yeah. Right before the big uh, February the 20th, we started <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thinking uh, with 42 subscribers back then. It was a video by Peter McKinnon, who yeah. did a really inspiring video, because he had grown from pretty much a small channel to over 1 million in nine months. And it was really inspiring. I'm not always caught by those kind of things, but I respect the guy a lot. I like his work. And uh, yeah, he just caught me in the right place. I had a lot of footage I was sitting on, and... Thanks to him, we started again. Yeah. Uh, we got some questions coming here. Well, uh, Windy City, Steve O, welcome, by the way. How are you? How was your day? Private yeah. picks business. Day wink, good. wink. What, what is wink, <laughs> wink? <laughs> well, depends, depends. Mostly events. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but family portraits as That's well. Right. Uh, I always said that Xenia does weddings and I, uh, uh, baptism, and I always want to cover the conceptions, but oh, I'm not no. getting any business yet. So. Oh my God. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Everything from uh, engagement yeah. to, you know, anniversaries, 50 year anniversaries, everything in span of But that. not 45s, only 50s. Yeah. yeah, we have a limit here. And bits of real <laughs> cancer. Yes, definitely go check it out if you like uh, humor. Uh, uh, black uh, or I don't know even how to describe it. If, if you like uh, hard humor, just uh, go and check it out. It's definitely something to watch for sure. <laughs> okay, uh, well that's what we'll call it then. Exactly, Dirty Andrew. Don't uh, there was a question if we have used a drone. For yeah, uh, Hosier asked that. No, and that's why we got the DJI Osmo for the simple reason is you pass my camera, please. Uh, thank you very, very, very much, my lovely assistant. <laughs> What you call oh. your, oh, Vanna, you call yourself. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Oh, am I going to do that again there? Oh, we'll see. Uh, we shoot with the DJI Osmo, which is, of course, made by the same company who makes uh, the Phantom drones that everybody loves. And uh, uh, let's see here. Take this out. Take this out. So this is the camera I shoot with. All the videos that you've seen are shot with this. And this is the DJI Osmo. I want to turn the camera on a little bit here. There we go. So <laughs> notice this lovely top inside. <laughs> this could be yours today. <laughs> this is the camera off the, the uh, drone, the Inspire. It's a $4,000 drone made by, uh, by DJI. It shoots in 4K. And it's literally the drone camera on a stick. This is the same camera that's mounted there. Uh, you can't see it, but all there is is a slit <laughs> for the micro SD, the same as you do in your drone. Uh, here. How heavy is it? Uh, not heavy. It's it's quite balanced as well. Uh, I, I don't know the exact specs, but I would say maybe a pound or something, a pound and a half. And you control it with your phone. So you put your phone 
wherever my phone is. Here it is. Hang on one second. I'll put it in. I have a dead battery, though. That's why. But your phone sits in there, and you control it. Uh, let's see here. You use it using the controls here. You can pan up, down, left, right. There's a trigger here, and if you tr tap it twice, it will bring it back to the home spot. And this will turn around almost in a 360, so you can actually turn it with three clicks. One, two, three. It will turn facing you, so you can vlog, tap again twice, and then it turns back to what you're filming. But, yeah, so we don't use drones much in Canada because luckily for uh, bottle caps, he's just a private guy, so he's fine. would only be $5,000. But for us, it's 25000 We do want to get into drones, but... Uh, and actually, uh, it's not that expensive, uh, Bits of Panther, to be honest. It's, uh, oh, oh, I see what you're, yeah, I guess we were doing the Vanna thing. I should look at this. This is goes on to it as well. So you just take the top off, it twists off, you put this in, the base, this on top, and then you have your full steady cam. And we are getting a drone. We are, it's just really not been, it, it, it's coming, and I, it's not that I don't like drones, but we got to get a license for it proper so we don't have to go through writing reports every time. It's actually 201 gram, which is uh, less uh, than a pound, including the battery. And, uh, yeah, 2,500 is quite a budget. Literally all that that I just showed you with extra batteries and everything cost 1,200 Canadian, so about... I don't know, maybe 900 US, I guess. So I will repeat my comment about that it weighs 200 grams. Yes, less than a pound. Yeah. I thought you were just telling them, so I didn't well, know. Well, I don't know. You didn't acknowledge it, so oh, I don't uh, know if it was caught or not. It weighs less than a pound. Yeah. Seven blessings. Yeah, I, I know, and uh, that's it. Like, I mean, we, that's why we didn't get a drone at the time, because it's literally you have to get a return on your investment and for us like it wasn't uh, gonna help us any with our videos much where with this we mean we can shoot weddings we shoot all corporate events we can do product shots and there's a selfie stick that extends about a meter long and you can take that base where i put this phone in when it's connected you can put it down by the handle hold it and i can get like flying like simulate a drone flying overhead if you're in the church or uh you want to go over the bride and groom's head to get them like kissing and the camera going over top. Yeah, you can uh, see it oh. on the first uh, wedding video a lot yeah. where the a bride is getting ready on that part and it looks like the drone flying over. And we would love to have it for nature shots here, but as Andrew said, it's uh, it's quite complicated if it's commercial. Uh, hi, Polynesian vlogger. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and yes, it's very light. It's lighter than my Sony camera that I use for photography. RT Jake, uh, usually everybody goes pretty much in that scale. You're going, uh, this almost leads to a road mic. Almost always. I mean, there are other ones. Look online and see. Uh, for me, I'm using the Rode Mic Pro. Uh, can just don't get seasick. I'll turn slowly. Actually, there it is here. That's the mic that we use. And that would fit. And it runs on a nine volt battery. So it has its own uh, preamp. Your Canon doesn't oh. have a hot, uh, hot shoe. Um. Oh, Wiseman's Creek Studios, we love you too. You guys really got a great channel. Oh, uh, Saint, and, and St. Otto's here. Welcome. Good to see you. I think, I think you've been doing the winging session for too long. I'm here too. <laughs> I'm here. Okay. <laughs> I'm here. Well, I'm saying hi to you too, St. Victor. There, see, I even used your first name. So, so. we need to ask yeah. if it took you five hours to figure out how to use it the first day. Um, yeah, there's a video if you go and see it, uh, it's called Her Soul Shimmers, or uh, I think I called it, and it's my daughter in the park here in uh, Montreal. And you can see it, and that's actually the first night that I ever got it. And my daughter is my go to model, so it, it's not hard, it's quite easy. And there's the uh, we've showed last week, there is a mobile phone version. That yes. holds your mobile phone, and that is worth to me. If you're not shooting in low light and stuff like that, and you're looking for a cheap alternative, it makes your videos ten times better for a low price because it holds your cell phone, keeps it nice, all you know, your shots more even. The only thing I use the Z axis for Z axis for is walking, uh, and I think you can use it 
with the mobile, but I'm not sure if you can use the Z axis. That you would have to look up. But it's uh, it's under two hundred dollars a mobile uh, uh, type of it. Mm -hmm. That DJI. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I was reading what? Sorry. <laughs> Should I leave? Xenia just figures sometimes I'm like at the beck and call. Like she just well, <laughs> I'm talking with you you're, with the, on the subject that okay. you were talking about. Yeah, but about. That I was, okay. So how can I help you? Wendy? No, they were talking okay. about how I mean, expensive or not it is. So I was saying that the mobile one is under $200. I would say about that, yeah. You have a better memory for that stuff than I do, but I would say so. Look, Craft Beer Pours is here. That's one person I was really excited to say hello to as well, like everybody else in the list here. Like Backwoods Billy Craft Beer Reviews, which is really cool. Glad to have you here. We are looking for a, at a drone, possibly, for YouTube. I use my cell phone, or I know she's writing something. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> my cell phone. Is like, you got that. There's something about Xenia there when you know she's up to something. It's like you can, there's like an air in the... You can, <laughs> my cell phone or 10 inch or 7 inch tablets we have two external microphones I use either my cell phone we are looking at a drone possibly for YouTube I use either my cell phone or 10 inch yes exactly okay yeah and that's great like that I mean it's the low light today almost every cell phone has an amazing camera low light is where you start paying money and that's to have a bigger sensor and if you're not shooting a lot of low light, you don't need to go broke over, uh, like my video camera is not the greatest for low light. I got to do a lot of work in like, I use neat uh, um, neat video as a plugin to get rid of noise. And it's not the be all end all of plugins. It can work to a certain extent. And there's some noise you just can't get out. And the plugin takes a lot, a lot of RAM. So to render a video that would take Say a clip that was 30 seconds long that took two minutes to render. When you add neat video, you're definitely looking at probably 15 minutes right away. That's how much it adds to rendering time because there's so much more to process. I'm going to bring uh, DJI Mobile. There's the Mobile 2. Yeah, we'll bring that up. I would really like to get one of these things, I, even though I have the other one because I think it's such a smart idea. I'm going to bring it up for you guys in a second. There we go. Let's, let's share a screen, shall we? Share. And, oh. <laughs> I forgot that I had put it on share all screen. Sorry. There you go. So this is the one for holding your cell phone, and this is really cool. Really cool. See how the bracket goes here? And you just slide your phone in, the same controls as mine. There's your trigger, the pan up, down, left, right, your record button, everything. Um, really cool option. Like you see, there's a different, there's mine. I have a different handle. That's actually an interesting handle. I've never seen that set up before. This, the arm here, but, and there's the phone one. Uh, here's a guy with the phone. This is, this is really cool. But I would definitely recommend this. I mean, this is great for vlogging. Like, and it will make your, it'll make your video look so much more professional right off the bat because it's going to be so nice and even. For uh, And what was the price I meant to look? Uh, see, in, in Canada, $169, so like $129 US. $169. 95 Apple Canadian. This is not very expensive. They even got a base for it, so you can uh, mount it on your table if you want to do like uh, some sort of vlog uh, vlogging in that as stationary. You know, you don't have to spend top dollar for everything. It's the same when you buy a car. You don't buy a Lamborghini to go get bread. And... Thanks, Push Toys. Yeah, I found that. Okay, you guys are having a con conversation yep. <laughs> railroad expert we are trying to retire half of the freight trains and have them be passenger trains from all of the american trains but it will cost us millions of dollars my dad said only 10 trains only 10 trains so we can save money 
Yeah, well, definitely. Sounds like it would save money for sure. Phil Cochran, more wifey. <laughs> You're you. up, hon. No, I'm good here. Uh, seven blessings. They want to hear from you. They want to hear all your. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm in the chat, guys. Don't worry. I'm right here. I'm just in the chat. So if you have any questions to me, you can ask it in the chat. Oh. Can you repeat what was the device you were showing? <laughs> yep, I'm sending a link here right now. Uh, these are for, there you go. Uh, those ones are, that's the um, images of it. And from there, you can see the name. And yeah, ADJH Travel, um, down the rabbit hole, he's using uh, the type that you just posted in. Uh, we were talking about the DJI version, but I mean, it's you know yep. one or the other, uh, really, unless it's an actual camera in it. I don't think it really matters so much. So yeah, that also works. <laughs> yeah, it is. Do you want me to slow down the chat? If you think it goes too fast, I can slow it down. So many great channels and again oh my god this is amazing halos and heathens i know big zinnich probably said hi to you she's gonna smirk in her face of but course. i'm gonna say hi to you so sorry i was looking at the screen an ipad hopefully one day i can get back yeah well that's it shire you know every, you start somewhere and i would like to i definitely want to put together a ryzen computer this year i want to um finally put together a decent editing machine but you know, things take time, and there's no use to jump at every deal. Uh, things will, uh, your content is always first and foremost, and I always bring up the example, and people are going to get so sick of hearing it. Every time something big happens on the news, what is the first thing they do? The crews run to Facebook and buy up any clips they can get their hands onto. And those videos usually aren't the best. They're shot in a health, uh, cell phone while somebody's kind of shaking because they're nervous. And they get millions of views. They weren't edited. They weren't taken in perfect light. And they weren't taken on a $100,000 camera. But guess what? They got one hell of a story. And people people need that story. I, you can have the most expensive equipment in the world, the best editing in the world. But if you don't have something that draws people's attention, it's not going to do anything. Unless you're sitting there talking about the equipment, then maybe. That's about the only way. Neil, it's, uh, I see you say, Andrew, it's good to see you, buddy. So glad you're here. And it's, once again, we were on the Ill and Heathens. We were on their pod. Uh, they interviewed us for their podcast the other night, which was absolutely amazing. You know. Oh, RT Jake, you got to go. Well, thank you so much for coming. Yes, you're on your break. I really do appreciate it. Glad we got connected today, and I hope we can uh, keep up with each other. I'm really happy you came. Like I said, any time is your time is valuable time, and we value it. So, thank you so much. Colorado Martini is here. She she is so sweet. Eh? Oh yes, things. yeah. Thank we you have, so much. We were just checking you out. Yeah, thank <laughs> you for all the channel. yeah. I know, yeah, I was gonna say, uh, not everybody's crazy enough to do. <laughs> Oh my God Almighty! We really appreciate all the sweet comments and everything else. And that's yeah, you guys really, really, really know how to make people feel like they're, you know, doing something that's appreciated. And I hope we make you guys feel appreciated as well, because you truly are. So I guess we can start with some questions, guys. You guys got anything on now? Like I say, product. We're not product reviewers, so I'll try my best. We can look up stuff, um, help where we can uh but uh, there's maybe people ask the questions because maybe there's somebody in the audience here who knows more about it than we do and if you do please answer uh, i want to learn as many things as i can too so there uh, uh shooting video photography editing youtube plugins we've done before on uh and and don't be shy to ask stuff again, guys. Like if you've seen like one of our plugins on TubeBuddy and you want to see how to uh, uh, something about tags or something like that, don't be shy. It will all you can ask anytime you want. Uh, there's nothing wrong with repeating. And that's I do that all the time when I'm learning new things. I'm playing the video back and back and back, and sometimes I want to pull all my hair out, but I still put it back because it's the only way to learn. And uh, Donnie Shaw is called a sexy beast. Thank you so much. Seventh blessings. You guys are great. Well, you guys are awesome. And Donnie, uh, Donnie says, Pusha Show rocks. Well, you rock. And uh, 
Uh, once again, thanks for the laugh today. We really needed it, and you were amazing. Camaro time. Absolutely. Learn all you can. When you stop, that means you are happy where you are. You should always want to better yourself. That's right. Anybody who's seen our Tech Tuesdays before always knows my motto. I want to learn three things every time I do a new video. Because three things is not impossible, and it keeps me from getting stale. And um, if you learn more, great. Also, guys, you always know my policy, I believe, on effects. To anybody who's new here wants to know, effects are like spices on the end, on the food before it's served, not the main dish. Keep the mood to 100. That usually never has to happen. Usually you want to stay in with, I mean, it's not a rule of thumb. It depends on the plug-in, but a lot of them you're looking at 10%. You always want to give that little extra hint. Like I did one where there's a camera turns around almost like in a 180 and i play with the speed ramping so speed it up slow it down when it got to the middle and then speed it up and go to the end and just a tiny bit of motion blur on that literally i think probably six percent where it was stopped in the middle not even stopped in the middle it's just where it slowed down gave all the depth that i needed like anything else would have looked like uh, cartoonish uh is, is your brother from another bottle cap <laughs> Uh, I crazy, uh, no, uh, one crazy, oh, one crazy Nordlander. Oh, right. First time watching your live show. I think you sent me a crusty interview. Me, I'm, I could have. That's possible. I have a horrible memory. Anything is possible, but please, uh, send us a message in Twitter, okay. I, I, I'm i trying to think of which video it is. I'm sorry. Sometimes I don't remember this stuff a lot. But, yeah, no, I, you got some interesting stuff here. So just, yes, uh, our Twitter, you just go to any of our videos, and they're in the description. And, guys, here's something I came up with the other day, and I don't mind. If you guys like it, you're more than welcome to copy it. Well, let's go look at this. Let's share the screen. I mean, copy it. It's, nobody owns anything. And that's why I'm saying it that way. Um, oh, my channel videos. I kind of came up with this the other day, and I'm happy with it. Remember when we told you guys about always don't be shy to go back and fix stuff in your videos? Well, I did that on this one, and once again, you see all the videos here, and I went right back to the beginning. Here, uh, somebody was asking a while ago, um. About the first time I used the uh, DJI Pro, well, uh, the Osmo, here, we'll kill two birds with one stone. Here's my daughter video. And this was the very first night I ever had it. It's a bit jittery right now to you guys for the simple reason is you'll be seeing it uh, through stream. So, but you see how you can get that floating effect. And yes, I didn't have it set to flat settings at the time. So yeah, the color grading was a bit hard to get. But still, it was a fun video. And anything my daughter's into is perfect. So. so yeah, that's a little bit of it. Or here, actually, there, you can see running, see? And that was the first night before I was really used to holding it. So it does keep things pretty steady. And you don't have to do the duck walk like a lot of other uh, steady cam rigs that cost. Because a steady cam rig usually is about two to seven thousand dollars on average. But it can go a lot more. And this is what I started doing with my where we uh, pin your comment, and it's always good to have a pin a comment in your videos because that does help in the rankings. And I didn't do it here. Like there, I, I ex ex uh, answered Philip, but I forgot to heart. And it's good to have at least one heart. But I put all my uh, all of our social medias like this, so they're easy to see. 
So in all of our videos, I always have a description about what we were doing and the equipment, music credit, and then about us, all of our links here. And sometimes we have like here another a link to another video. And if people don't want to open that up, I, we uh, for the first comment and pin it, we put the social media links for us. So that way if people want to get in contact with us or see like my wife's work on Instagram and that, it's easily accessible. And that was just something I did the other day. Now I say I, I did that, I hadn't seen it, but it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Very well with this, so many people as there is on YouTube, chances are it already does. <laughs> Okay, you got to talk there. <laughs> this is no, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm actually very good. I'm yeah. communicating, answering questions. So I just was going to type uh, uh, the answer to the question about using the plugins, Hozier. Uh, we actually use a whole bunch of uh, them. Um, obviously, TubeBuddy, but VidIQ as well uh, as uh, Morning Fame and Social Blade. So we use all of them at the same time because we use free versions uh, and uh, each of them offer some different features, uh, slightly different features in them. So therefore we use uh, kind of all of them in combination. Uh, I'm watching wide footage, yes. Oh, now you're gonna make me blush. Uh, DJI Osmo, well, uh, yeah, if you missed the beginning scrumptious model trains, Andrew was just talking and showing his camera, which is the DJI Osmo. Uh, can I have some sugar, please? <laughs> uh, which is DJI Osmo, and uh, like uh, it's it's really great camera because it's actually camera from Inspired Drone, uh, and uh, I think it enhances the look of the video, especially if used together with uh, Z axis as well. It just makes so much more difference when used uh, in combination with that. So, uh, for sure. Um, and I answered um, bits of real answer. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh, so I'm. I was going to show you what we're using because I was just talking about it in the chat. This is what we're using. Uh, but Rode has different types of microphones like that uh, that you can choose uh, depending on your budget. Um, so definitely look into that and uh, lots of professional videographers, thank you, uh, and vloggers on YouTube as well are using Rode, micro Rode microphones. So uh, check that out on their website. And no hose, it wasn't a potty break <laughs> when it was a coffee break, <laughs> but you never know. Uh, if I miss any questions, just type them in again or copy paste them just in case I miss anything. I'm trying to find them. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. there was a question. Uh, Thank Donnie's, you. Donnie's back to work. So take care, Donnie. Thank, Thank you, you so for much dropping for coming by. In. Don't get in trouble. Yeah. Uh, what would you invent to help if you could to help with photography and videography? Thank you for repeating the question, Camaro. Wow, that's a, that's a really good question. I mean, to me, steady cam is everything. That's why I like the Osmo because it's at a relatively good price, but I mean, it could be improved. I would like to have all those features in something the size of a phone. I would like to have something the size of a phone that could shoot in really low light, like really good high quality. Yeah. But steady cam capabilities. It would be great if it would be something in, in built in the camera already that would reduce that noise because uh, yes, the low light is, is, um, is a hard catch sometimes, especially with event photography, because obviously most of them, especially in the winter that we have here six months out of the year, uh, most of them uh, happen inside and like churches are uh, really awful places <laughs> uh, most of the time because they're dark and even more awful are the receptions with all favorite brides, uh, purple lights. Uh, like if any of you are getting married anytime soon and want to uh, hire the photographer, really rethink the lighting options in your reception because I don't know why, but brides tend to go towards the bluish, purplish, pinkish uh, mm. light, which is really, really bad um, for photos. Uh, not that it can't be corrected, but it just creates a, a really awful lighting, even in reality. Uh, it makes people look palish and ghostish. And so if, you, uh, you know, something more warmer. Would no, sorry, better. I'm laughing at, at poor bottle caps. <laughs> it's so, oh my 
God, he's, he's no. They were talking about the the top of your microphone. No, 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 no. Yeah, the ma the camera on the Maverick loves low light. That's what I'm talking about. Maverick, he's this Maverick fanboy. He just cracks me up every time. Oh, he's then so, we're also talking about the microphone yeah. Furby that you have. Um, do it with Jay. Hi. Yeah. Hi, uh, hope you got my Instagram message back. It seemed to be on different times there. Um, Do it with Jay Wade and uh, and uh, Smoke and Grill and AB. Like those guys, they have this amazing, I mean, they share their, uh, their uh, live streams together and it's just unbelievable. We called in the other night. Yeah, it's called Smoke and uh, Sunday night. Yeah. That was cool. That was really cool. Yeah. yeah. Call, it in, uh, call in, uh, that's amazing. Yeah. No, they really got a great stream going. It's a lot of fun. And the food they make together. Oh, my God almighty. Oh, we can't watch it unless no. it's, it's just, uh, I, I can't. Yeah. It's just so, uh, it just makes me hungry right away. Yeah. Oh, you said. Didn't oh, perfect. Like thank you. I'm just not checking the phone while we're on perfect. live, but thank you so much. Perfect. We're going to um, start handing out some more mods here. There you go. Now you're a mod, sir. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, about the LED lights. Yeah. We, uh, we do use video light uh, yeah. and it's very handy, but. You see, like I don't like, especially with photography, I don't like interrupting the event. Meaning, like if it's darker event, well, I don't want to be in their faces with with the light, right? So, yeah. uh, and I'm more a fan of natural light outside. I'm not really using, um, you know, uh, the strobe lights and things like that. Using window light as much as possible, reflections and things like that. If it's necessary, yes, I will use a video light. We have it on hand. Uh, I just don't prefer using it. the same as the speed light. I do have it. I do use it if necessary. But again, uh, I don't like interrupting the moment because you know, imagine the bride, you know, with her father, teary eyed, you know, uh, talking about her, you know, moments of childhood or no. And there you are with the light, you know. By within uh, hiking distance. Like Take it. care. Thank you for coming. But that's just me. Hmm. Um, so you're saying bright LEDs would be better. No, I think the opposite. Yeah. I'm saying that you can use uh, LEDs or video lights like we have. Uh, I just prefer not to use uh, bright lights, you know, external yeah. lights, uh, because oftentimes it interrupts the whole mood. I mean, the bride, for example, is paying a lot of money to create the the ambience in the reception, you, you know. So, yeah, you know, it, you get a weight out sometimes. I do use it, but just not every time. Polynesian uh, Frogger, bye, pretty wife. I guess I'm getting the shaft here tonight. Finally. <laughs> Are you talking about the SLR and good lenses? Yeah. Bye, Polynesian Vlogger. Even though you weren't saying goodbye to me, I'll say goodbye to you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for all the compliments. Thank you. <laughs> Windy City is Timo. Oh, you and Bottle Caps are a great pair. I'd prefer the I'd prefer I'd prefer for the light to be in her face in the courtroom for my divorce. I really think you haven't gotten over your divorce, over so, although it's uh, I thought completed eight years ago. Because yeah. we're still talking about yeah, it. Good. See, guys, we're sharing the love here. It's a happy place. Yeah, nothing beats natural lighting exactly. Jesus. So as much as I can get through with it, I do, but. Obviously, we, you can't do it all the time. So, oh. therefore, if there would be something built in that wouldn't interrupt the ambience of the By light, uh, but like still vlogging. make it brighter uh, and reduce the noise at the same time, uh, I would appreciate that. Because even the fastest yeah. uh, and the widest lenses still sometimes is not enough. Um, so, um, Hills and Hills, always a pleasure. Bye. You take care of yourself. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much for okay, coming, Neil. Hilos. Thank you for saying hi. Dinner time. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know. Was it Neil? I, I don't know. Annalise. It was Annalise? Uh, oh, well, my apologies. That. Uh, I think Neil is cooking. <laughs> I love all your cherished life. Well, thank you. Hi. And you too. You are always a, a ray of sunshine in our channel. So do it uh, with Jade. Uh, what about the SLRs? Yes, that's right. Seventh uh, blessings. Good thing we are. We live in the sunshine state. That's right. You yeah, guys... you're lucky, guys, because uh, yeah, here it's six months out of twelve is is winter, and most of the things happen inside. So you got to be prepared for that. But it is sunny here on cold days, and that shocked things in because in Latvia most of the winter is very gray. It's kind of like a colder version of London. 
So she was very shocked to come here and find like minus 30 degrees Celsius and still like a bright, bright. Oh, yes. Actually, here, if it's a bright, sunny day in the wintertime, look out because you're probably going to freeze to death. That's usually a good way to look at Lots it. At least it was sunshine, gray. But again, I yeah. mean, you don't want to do a photo shoot when it's minus 40 outside. So, yes, this, this is true. Uh, do it with Jay Wade. I use a 1 8 in low light. They got a real good system. They set up these guys. I, I mean, they're pretty. Can you expand on that? Maybe I'm not aware of that. Um, Railroad experts, gonna, <laughs> you're gonna go do some important things in your house. Well, then we'll let you get to those important things. So, thanks for stopping by. Oh, I was just gonna put the little stinker to bed. Well, not a problem. We will be here for you, sir. <laughs> No, you're not the only one. No. But it doesn't mean that it's uh, me. I've gone through one. God forbid if he starts talking about it after a couple of years of <laughs> ending it. And, <laughs> we'll trade war stories sometimes. Ball caps. I think that's get what ball, over it. Maybe we'll get ball caps and Wendy say we'll have like a like a, a tell all night about our divorces or something like that. I want to. Sh uh, I want to shine bright on the dirty cheating garden tool so it's extra. Hmm. What? <laughs> I want it to shine bright. <gasps> oh my God. So it's extra for LED lights. Jeez. Guys. Uh, Colorado uh, Martini was asking is uh, that is so cool. What is the cost? Uh, do it with Jade. I'm not really, uh, you know, I don't claim to be an expert. If you mean to uh, be using a lower shutter speed, is that what you're talking about? Uh, capture a ton of light. Is that one in? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> 10, 14. Oh, well, yes, of course. Well, that's why I said about the wider lens. Uh, the wider lens, obviously, uh, is, is, is gonna, it's gonna do that. But it's again has some disadvantages. You know, it depends what you want to shoot, I guess. I, by the way, I love your Instagram feed. Uh, yeah. For those of you who don't know, uh, go and check Do It With uh, Jay Wade. Instagram feed, really cool pictures. Love yeah. love the the whole cohesive look on it. It, it is. Really cool. It's really impressive. <laughs> That's what, See, Xenia and I do that all day because we're checking out you guys' uh, content, and I'm doing more of the YouTube. She's doing more Twitter, and then Instagram. We're kind of always on. And then it's just like... Uh, he says yes. I was agreeing with you. So he was. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. Remember, uh, wait, uh, Jay Wade. Uh, my safety word here: if I get into trouble, is potato sack. So yeah. No, that? it also comes in later the chat that you guys type. So sometimes it sounds like oh, we didn't, they didn't see it, but it's just we haven't seen it because it yeah. comes. Where is your Furby? I was gonna show for the wind. Somebody, I was asking. Oh, I put it. It's over there. The wind sock there yeah. for the. No, the next one. And you're one step away from giving everybody your butt. Okay. There we go. There, so you can talk about that. The dead, dead cat, as yeah. the bottle cap said. Yeah. And there is one for the, but the, the pro is pretty good. You usually don't need one too much. I'm going to get one because uh, the other one broke just because I use it size filming trains on that. This is the same company, the Rode Micro. Um, this is a really, really nice little uh, mic. It goes. It's usually sold if, like, not directly with uh, the DJI Osmo, but if you pick package deals, usually this always comes. As you can see, it's not very big. It is a good directional mic. A little bit, a little bit high in the treble sometimes. And <laughs> don't kick. Like I will everything down. fell down here and shut down at the same time. <laughs> Poor people, we're gonna have to start giving out gravel when they watch this. <laughs> <laughs> we are waiting for our channel to grow to be able to afford better gadgets. <laughs> Good night. Seven blessings. You guys do great content as it is, and anything like that would just be icing on the cake. Is that French tickler? That's right. Our wedding couple right. called it. Yeah, uh, the woofer. Woofer. The woofer. And there it is with a windsock. And anybody who's uh, using their mic, we uh, these are really cheap too. I think, don't quote me because it was a little while ago I bought it, but I think 70 bucks. And anybody, uh, yeah, uh, definitely Wade, Jay Wade's got one of those. I mean, that guy is set up to the set up to the hills with his. Uh, oh, yeah, my equipment. God. 
these work really well though like they're not expensive and they're so portable and yeah in that a wind sock for everybody who doesn't know where they call it a, a, the, the dead cat sometimes but people who are animal lovers sometimes freak at me for saying that but don't bother me there's a hole like this <laughs> with a lot of fur on it and uh yeah the whole mic just goes right in there and yeah it's a real panther. Yeah. it's a real panther that's another road microphone so i yeah. was talking about how di many different types also the small one inside of the furby <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know you can use that as well fishing with bottles see Good it uses a regular jack uh, on it uh so yeah. that may be something that you want to uh, check on it so so there you go but it is very easy to work with. Uh, what did Bottle Cap say? Uh, that that was a, a great Star Trek episode. Oh. Fishing with bottles, high and low. Welcome. I just said that. <laughs> I literally like thirty seconds ago. But hey, you can never have enough highs. So it's good to have you here. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's brag about the great weather year-round fishing with bottles. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my bottle caps is something else you're a happy-go-lucky guy my friend <laughs> so anybody else did we miss some questions because they were coming in pretty quickly which is amazing um that you guys want to know but uh, uh somebody asked me about tube buddy a while ago oh i think a little was hosier maybe and he's gone to put his yeah uh, and i already answered that oh you did okay mm -hmm. perfect Hello, good cell life. Oh, we enjoy. I enjoyed your live stream the other night. Uh, the pic, uh, Pictioner, that was fun. That was yes. really good. <laughs> I suck at it, but it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe we'll do a little bit tomorrow with our. Has good cell guest. life contacted you yet? I don't think so. No. Uh, yeah, you guys uh, definitely, like we said, uh, we're filling up pretty quickly now, but uh, yeah. I can't believe to say that. That still amazes us that so many people want to be on. It's uh, it, it, it's nice. It really is. Yeah. You, oh, Windy City. Then oh, if it's about the divorce thing, <laughs> I don't know how much I can help you. If it's something else though. Yeah, maybe uh, you guys, bottle caps, and Andrew can have their own pajama party. That's right. The divorce, <laughs> you know. You could live with that. Oh, fishing with bottles, you were sunburned? Oh, that sucks. Ooh. That's never fun. Sour cream. Sour cream, that's right. Crazy Russian official, hi. Oh, hey. Good to nice see you. Good to see you. Oh, good sell life. That's because you guys do a good job. Well, a great job. Well, thank you so much. Hmm. Well, I mean, all we do, like you said, is just kind of open up a forum. It's the guests and you guys that make it. So, uh, it it's all thanks to you guys and and i mean this is a, i'm say it myself this is a great channel because we have really really great people in the chat it's always respectful there's lots of people in here everyone kind of helps each other out let's uh sub 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 hello <laughs> oh so it's yeah but well, it's good you can take a break here. I'm glad. Badger Farm Girl, welcome. Good to see you again. How are you doing tonight? Remember, guys, questions on any of this stuff, uh, just ask. Don't use that word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the crazy bots is yeah. going to come and shut down the live stream because Ooh, we're talking about subs. Bots. Sub scary. Ooh. Sub, 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 sub. Ooh. <laughs> just like the other night. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be fun, yeah. right? Uh, the other night we were talking paranormal, and there was a storm outside, and I'm a skeptic, and uh, ends up his wife is a skeptic. And I don't believe in anything, and I was just telling them the only time I've ever had a strange feeling like something might be there was when I was at Auschwitz. And almost by the time I got it out of my mouth, poof, all the power went out on the block. So uh, I got to put that up because that would really be good clickbait. Definitely, I, yes. That's definitely. gotta cut that portion I, I, out. I too. just, I <laughs> yeah. couldn't have been better coincidence. There, it was weird. Tried. It was so amazing how it worked out. It was, uh, uh, I, I, it was the timing couldn't be any better. And I stress, it did not change my mind on anything. I'm a rush. I always believe there's a reason for everything, so I'm not pretending like it was some stunt to make me look like I believe. But it was interesting. It was perfect, perfect timing. 
Oh, bits of real panther says I caught a weird whisper on one of my videos. Mm. Oh. Well, you gotta go uh, and maybe ask a question to Panic D. They are yep. uh, all into that, and as they said, they're not for the extreme thrill of Ghostbusters. They're actually doing the investigative uh, scientific stuff on, on paranormal. So uh, maybe send them the video and ask them to check it yeah, out. That would be interesting. You want to put the link for them on? Uh, definitely, I'm going to put the link for them. They were a really sure. great show. Very sweet uh, we, couple. Yeah. And it's nice because she's a, she's actually a scientist, basically, and he's uh, works for the yeah she's a biologist of, biologist excuse me yeah. that's right well it's still scientist well the bio <laughs> I don't want well, to I don't want to draw lines in between all of it so I I think she's a scientist but I meant to, for her sometimes they like to yeah. separate themselves <laughs> yes the free tickler would be a great uh, clickbait that's true yeah we should use it next week for our Tuesday tech talk so the free clickbait. Yeah. Definitely. Maybe we will do that. We'll do that in your honor, Windy City. Steve O, whichever one you want. I, to I just love your humor. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well, it was a pretty go. evil place, so I'm sure uh, clickbait is the. I'm sure it was pretty. Yeah, yeah so I'm no, not no, sure. No, yeah, no, exactly. Not, not that way. No, 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 no. Not no, no. The, uh, yeah, yeah, it was more for the coincidence of what happened. We didn't word it properly. Yeah. It wasn't for the word, but no. for the fact itself that we had a conversation about paranormal yeah. activities and uh, the, the electricity went out um, no matter what we were talking about, really. Yeah. There, look who's here. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, that's a paranormal activity, Pandy. Yeah. We were just talking about your channel, and I just put the link to your channel, and you appeared right after. Like that's funny. What's going on? I think Is he's trying that... to he's trying to make me a believer. He's trying yeah. to put up a bunch of quinces. Is so that change paranormal Andrew. activity, yeah. or it's not? It's unbelievable. God. That was funny. Mm-hmm. I swear to God, this thing's got a gap into it, but the if and when you drink, it's like it's the size of a pin. There. See, this is great when you take off the cap because then you're guaranteed to knock it over at some point on yourself. Uh, yeah, Panic D. We actually started a conversation about you because uh, uh, Real Panther had some weird whisper on one of their videos. So we <laughs> oh no, wondering. not again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we were oh. wondering if uh, you know you'd be interested to check it out and. Mm. Yeah, and just so weird. I just put the link to your channel, just Literally. like right above you. Yeah, go watch the video after when it's up, and you'll see. Yeah. <laughs> and you appeared right after. It's yeah. amazing. If you're skimming through fast, you want to know where it is, just watch when my hand is like this. Oh, that's sick. Uh, I can never yeah. trust those water bottles. Oh, my yeah. God, yes. No. Always get coffee all over, water all over. No. I don't know. I don't know even what works. I thought you were hitting the ball, kind of. Yeah, exactly. I never drank coffee in my life till about six months ago, till Xenia got me hooked on it. Because Xenia insisted on me drinking coffee for the simple reason is, <clears throat> when we travel home to my parents, it's eight hundred and fifty kilometers. Or when we go on road trips, I never stop. So she figured she got me hooked on this stuff that I would stop more. And uh, lo and behold, Andrew's severely addictive personality kicked in and. Now it's eight cups a day. Well, you More. see, uh, and by the way, Panic, just put the video link in the, in the chat if you want to, uh, for Panic Day to find it easier. Um, and if you guys want to see that, by the way, the two video, there was two videos for that night. Just go to the last five minutes of the first one, and you'll see it happening. Staff, you were at the hospital. Yeah. Hope you're all right. It's something strange, like, especially this weekend mm -hmm. and, and the beginning of the week. Like there were so many YouTubers that were uh, in the hospital or injured or not feeling Lunatic well. Lunatic Dad, that's how I roll. Yeah, which thankfully is out of the hospital. Yes, that's right. So we're glad to hear that. Rick got hurt. Rick got hurt. From Rick is, is back in his uh, neck. He fell. It was a really weird week. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, ATGH, uh, in our Gettysburg video, we heard flutes playing in the battlefields. No one was around. Yeah, I remember you saying it in the chat yeah, uh, that day. That's quite, quite interesting. 
Yeah, you can just put the link in here. You guys are like, I mean, I hope you guys are not going to spam it all through with the links, but if we're mm. talking about something, you can put mm. the link uh, in. That's why they're equal hashtag equality mods. That's right. And if you noticed, I put a wrench in my tweet today. So oh. um, I think we pretty much got most people have gotten the wrench. I don't think we usually don't do it if it's your first time here, but anybody who's been back two or three times. Yeah, I, I see crazy Russian too. <clears throat> I thought that it's a full moon, but then I thought it's not only on this side, it's also on the other side of the planet that was happening. So it can't be that. <laughs> mm. So I don't know what is it. Maybe the you know volcanoes are coming up uh, and all that. Maybe there's some kind of activity going on all in general on our planet. Yeah, I see Balka saying same crazy stuff here. Two people just recently died here on the island, and when two when people start dying, it's always in threes. Yeah, that's true. Uh, mm -hmm. Bad things happen in three. Mm -hmm. That's that's uh, my mother always said that. My grandma always said that. And uh, the same as this, I like uh, growing up in small towns. Same thing. They always said that. Can we mm -hmm. put up what again? Sorry, yeah. Colorado Martini. What we were talking about? Uh, sorry. Yeah, can you uh, let us know which one? Sorry. You got just got out of ER this morning. My goodness, guys. I got hope a... you're okay. Wind City, Steve-O. Wow. I, was it a, one of your jokes or is serious? Seriously, never know with you. Well, I hope you guys all are good. It's, it's yeah, it's been a bad week. I think it's really something with, with all the... You know, when when Earth starts working with volcanoes and earthquakes, it it definitely affects, um, like butterfly effect, people all around the planet. I think, and I really think it's it's connected with that. Mm -hmm. So, hopefully, fingers crossed and prayers for those who believe that everything is fine after this week. So, uh, Reese, I think uh, bits of pens are just sent to the link you're looking for. Oh, strep throat and went in for. Ooh, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, at least you're on to antibiotics, hopefully. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, no. Oh, guys, guys, take care of yourself. My God. Yeah. I'm watching the situation in the Canary Islands. Yeah, you know, once it starts in one yeah. side of the world, definitely Tejo's uh, uh, on the other. That's just, it's all connected, right? He's been confirmed, right? Because he's in the chat. Mm, who? Trailer Park guy. Yeah. Trailer Park guy is in the house. Welcome. Good to see you. This is one of our uh, upcoming guests as well. Like we said, we've been trying to get people in from different circles and that, so you guys get to meet new people on that. So welcome. Good to have you here. And if you guys haven't checked them out yet, like I say, we're not a sub, sub for sub or support or butterflies or whatever the hell you want to call it. But it's always good to check out other people and uh, like a like a good club, you always want to mingle when you're in the. Let's see, let's give Trailer Park guy a mod. There you go. Everybody's mods, and anybody new here tonight that's listening to this, and you know, our motto is. Everybody's respectful in here of each other, and uh, there's no real hierarchy, so we give mods to everybody pretty much that's been here two or three times. So everybody feels like they're on an even playing field. <laughs> it's a respect thing. Yeah, bottle caps. I remember in 2010, I think it was, or, or yeah, uh, when Iceland volcano erupted, and you, then you guys had ashes there for yeah. ash clouds uh, for weeks, and then remember the... Uh, last year, the red city of London, uh, when all the um, desert sand uh, yeah. uh, and all that, you get guys really interesting stuff lately there. And now Canary Islands, yeah, I'm looking right now that they have had 270 earthquakes. Uzulu. So it's probably something broiling there. Uzulu, I, uh, I know you sent me some stuff about your work. I apologize. Things got really crazy around here. We had to take care of a bunch of stuff. I did forget about it, but I remembered it, and I'm going to go back probably tomorrow. I do deeply apologize because that was so nice of you to send. Uh, Uzulu, he works for the railroad, and he sent me some stuff to look at after he was on with us, him and his son. So I don't know if it was dad or son or both, 
But either or, I will definitely take a look, and my apologies for the delay. Uh, crazy Russian official, you, uh, oh, you guys... Uh, Thank you. You guys are full of comments today. Like, yeah, great comments. And uh, Trailer Park guy, love this channel. We love having you here. That's that's the whole point of all this. It's just to have fun and and everybody feel like there's no hierarchy and just enjoying each other's time. You guys are really great channels. That's what's nice about it. It makes our work a lot easier. I don't want uh, like the old days of MIRC where there's like mods going crazy and banning people and fighting and stuff. That's not us. I'm I'm really proud to have an audience like you. We're proud to have an audience mm. like you guys. Thank you, Stefan. Surely seems you missed us all. We missed you too. We're She's glad so you're sweet. home. Yes, exactly. Aww. And don't worry about us. We're just glad you're okay. So, we're, uh, it's amazing, you know. Like uh, we were saying that was it last night about when uh, that's how I roll and that. Mm -hmm. You know, as we get to know you guys and that, that's what's so amazing because we don't want anything to ever happen to you. But if you're gone for a couple of days. If we don't have this connection, you know, it's like, why is he not putting up videos? Is he sick or is he just quit or does he not care? It's nice when we get this kind of bond because then we can at least know for each other and passing down the line and, you know, information. And uh, no, we've not all met. And look at Xenia and I. We met on a video game and she was in Latvia. I was in Canada. And we cared about each other very much even before we uh, physically met over time, of course. And it it is it's it's about a feeling and when you got good people around people are going to watch out for each other and and worry uh, about each other see each other as well so that's what's amazing about this channel in my opinion i heard mount st helens too it sounded like a bottle top being <laughs> well, bottle, bottle cap just it. talked about how he heard the crack of it and sounded like god yeah yeah, it does. We, I think, we on our everyday lives, we forget often uh, times how powerful the earth is. You know, we think we own it, but I think it's the other way around. We just forget about it. Would and you, um, crazy Russian official, we just came from Canada. Oh, you went to Victoria, BC. Oh, well, you should have yeah. stopped the bottle caps. Yes. <laughs> That's great. That's nice. How did you enjoy yourself? I mean, Canada is such a varied country. Like, you could shoot a movie going from province to province. Well, even within provinces, it's amazing how much, how varied the, the terrain can be. Well, yeah, it's clo I'm still closer than us, so half a day away from Victoria. Oh, look at that. AD, ADGH Travels, yeah, you've inspired us to go live once a week starting this Saturday at 6 p.m. Excellent. Oh, that's great. Uh, yeah, I seen your Instagram post about it, by the way. Uh, good job on that, and thank you for the shout out. Tweet at us your live stream so yes. I can retweet it on Saturday. For sure. What was Andrew's pickup line when you two met? Well, we met in the video game, so it was a game good called question. Second Life, and we got dropped in like uh, these different portals. Not everybody gets dropped in. There's different parts. We just have to be dropped in the same place. And everybody looks kind of bland when they first come in. It's an avatar with not much, just one pair of clothes on. And you didn't have defensive. any eyes. I, didn't? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember that. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. So she, I was hard to tell her she was beautiful, but. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have any eyes, I remember. I don't remember, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what I asked her. Hey, chick, you got eyes? <laughs> yeah, I really don't remember what was a pickup line. We just started talking, I guess. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, hmm. Oh, uh, Rabbit Hole is going to do a shadow video 30 miles away from you. Cool. That's well, you great. guys should get together. Yeah. We're hoping to get together with uh, um, Island uh, Aesthetics. Uh, they're coming back uh, on the 19th of uh, May. Yeah, it's going to be nice. They're know. actually, yeah, they're on the way. They already went to Vancouver, I think. Yep. They're on the way back now. They were really pushing. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. I don't want anything. Uh, I do not want anything to happen to any of y'all. That's beautiful what you just yeah, said. Yeah, that's a, said no one ever. This is sad. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, you guys uh, are really so. I, as yeah. I posted today on the Twitter, uh, you know, um, 
Pusha is a family. I was so I thought <laughs> I was so touched about it. And when you said he loves his blind, lol. Yes, yeah. I I love your humor. Uh, I should have more of that on your channel. Bits of Real Panther, thank you so much for coming yes, by. Yes, thank was, you so much. It is truly appreciated. It's always great to have you here. No, it's not a random question. We are here for Tuesday Tech. We just, I don't know, we, we weaved away from that, but that's okay. That's all right. That's... Uh, <laughs> hey, hello, Furberger. Oh, the man's in the house. Welcome. Now, about UV lens. Uh, what are you using it for? I really wouldn't be using it. Yeah. Why? Because you buy an expensive lens and then you cover it with something. What's the point? Yeah. Like I, I really don't see the point of it. You, you, because your your picture is as good as your lens is, even not as much as a camera itself. The lens. So buying a, a good lens and then covering it with a with a uv lens cover or even filter if it's not completely needed you know uh for gradual fit filter for example if you're doing uh, sunsets or something uh yeah i don't use them i i really don't see the point of it but it's just my opinion it, it, a lot of the big photographers that's one thing they'll talk they're not a lot of them won't use them very much but to each their own like i mean you gotta in the end, you can take all the advice, but it's definitely what works for you and what you feel comfortable doing, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's it's it's uh like mine, I have to use uh, as anybody with drones would know, you have to use uh, uh shades because otherwise because we have no f stop control, so well yeah, that's the thing, exactly. There's no way how to uh change the light on your camera, but for the uh, like cameras, mm -hmm. photo cameras um i mean try it out and you know just for fun experiment with it just to get different you know effects but uh once again like it, it covers your lens and your lens is what what makes a picture quality mm -hmm. so it's just up to you this is true this is true uh any of you guys got any big purchases coming soon? No, it doesn't mean big money, but I mean something you've been wanting to get and you've been waiting for, like uh, computers for editing, uh, new camera, new lenses, anything like that. Welcome back, Uzu. What is that brand of, I'm so slow today, of what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God almighty. <laughs> Woo. Um, Treble. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so it's a Rode microphone and... Uh, R-O-D-E. It's made in Australia. Are you sharing something? No. Okay, so I can't see if you guys can see. So this is a mic, and but what, where did you buy the fur? Also, the, the fur comes with it. The dead cat comes with it. Okay, dead cat comes with it. Yeah. It's really good with kids, like if you want to make videos or photos with kids, because obviously yeah. they want to go and check it out, and that's where you get your nice close-up shots. So it does draw them in. Yeah, yep, yeah. that is true. You're looking at the new Phantom bottle caps. Did you ever think about getting something like the Osmo and using the drone together and start mixing your like you know do your like a or getting the handle for the Mavic? Or you said the new Phantom, whichever, and the handle for it, and doing like some low shots as well, panning in that, because the gimbals in them are really good even for that stuff. I mean, some guys are even just holding it by the body, you know, and just the movements like this, you know, it's enough to work. What is a good and expensive drone? Spark, uh, yeah, the Spark, but you're still at 1080. I mean, it's not bad. Um. Spark is pretty, uh, uh, I don't know, I'd still say go to the Mavic for the little bit of a jump in money. DJI has so saturated the, the drone market. There are other ones out there, but, I mean, for somebody like me that's not aficionado, uh, he's such a pain in the ass. Uh, yeah, but oh, even God. with 1080, like, for example, our always mention peter mckinnon yeah uh just was shooting a video in 8k and guess what 
it's 1080 upload. Hmm. So, you know, yeah, it de again, uh, it depends what you're doing. In yeah. 1080, sometimes it's it's good enough. Like what what I was saying the other night, what I do is I shoot in 4K, but I edit in 1080, and then I upscale to 4K when I export. And why? Because that's how you center your shots. It's always good to have something bigger than what your 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 viewing screen is, so you can even it out, bring it in some. If you got any noise, you can reduce it by thirty percent or so. And then I got to use a filter called Instant 4K. You could upscale directly in like Premiere, or I'm I don't know. I'm sure you could probably do it in even Movie Maker. I just I'm not familiar with it. But it is good, and more, a lot of the big guys do shoot that way. Even like Linus Tech Tips and those guys, and well, they're changed now. Now they're shooting at 8K, and and that reason why they're actually shooting at 8K, working in a 1080 proxy, but they're still relatively 4K. But it gives them that double size; so they can bring down their frames, straighten them out. Uh, the the TV show House of Cards is a great example of that, and a lot of cinematographers refer to that show. If you ever watch the show, you'll notice everything is always dead on straight because they want to have that presidential look. So, like the flags, if there's two flags on the end of the desk, they're always equal amounts apart from the edge of the screen. There's no tilt whatsoever. So, yeah. Oh, Uzulu has the uh, DJI Spark. Yeah. How do you like it? Yeah, yes. And the drone market is crowded. I mean, it wasn't like up to two years ago, really. Uh, but it's good because it it lowered the price uh, for lots of them. So, yes, Colorado Martini. I uh, I love Badger Farm Girl's name too. I don't know. It's one of those great handles you always see now and then. Oh, thank you, Wind City. Uh, good luck and and yep. see you again. Thank you so much for coming thank by you for uh, the comedy. <laughs> <laughs> It's easy to fly, yeah. yeah. It's, oh, that's cool. It's easy to take anywhere. I mean, the thing is, it, it's unbelievable the technology packed into it. I mean, really, it depends. You know, if it, if it, it's easy, it's easy to operate, and yep. if the camera itself is good, then you know. You, I, uh, I don't need the Osmo with the Mavic clamps into the. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I corrected right after that. that. You sent us, yeah. Yeah. You're thinking about buying a drone. Yeah. Well, I mean, even for fun, it's cool, you know. Exactly. It's, uh, like I said, for us, it's hard. Once you have, a, like, a commercial business, because then it's hard for the, if you get caught and they do check you to, and you can check the fines are issued, you just have to be careful. And they're going to be less forgiving to a business than a personal. That's one thing, because the fines are a lot bigger. So you really, and with once you're commercial, you gotta have uh, insurance minimum one hundred thousand dollars coverage. You have to have another person with you that's trained to fly the drone in case you become incapacitated. Uh, Canada has a lot of tight rules. Oh, Jose, I have a Spark as well. Oh, there you go. So there are lots of people you can ask questions too yeah. about uh, Spark. Perfect. Uh, that's great. T.I. Speaks. Hello. T.I. Speaks. T.I. Yeah. You have a license and you have insurance bottle caps. I mean, he does weddings, so he has to. Oh, he does have a license. Yeah. Oh, I thought you just, okay, there you go. Hmm. I, did, I didn't know you were doing weddings and that, like, uh, commercially. Well, that's cool. Well, the real estate, too. So real estate probably needs yeah, a license. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's good. Yep. I want to switch on. It's a uh, like I said, we get into it. I I love drones, like I, I really do. I uh, I would I would want to tie it in with both. Like I would want like where I could to do like the drone plus on the ground as well, and then tie the two together. And uh, and and bottle caps. You want to know something weird? I checked into it. There was I forget how many fines issued last year. And every, and even though it's federal, every one of them was uh, all those fines were in Quebec. There was none in any other province, and that's not like they're picking on Quebec. But in case somebody separate is here, hears me saying that's not what I mean. I'm just saying that the, coincidentally, the, the, it's the reps in Quebec for the it just happened to be stricter on it. So, uh, da, 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 da. we do 4K filming, then upload to 1080, but. 
uh, notice most TVs, unless they are UHD, tend to be just a tad bit blurry on playback during movement. Um, but when you do your 4K, then it's, uh, what what program do you use again, to, uh, ADGH? Is it, are you using Premiere? Well, caps, Refresh uh, rate might be different. Uh, yeah. We had a similar question last uh, week from somebody. Oh, Rocky and Derek show. Welcome. I think it's a refresh rate now that it's different. Uh, where, but where are they out of? It, it shouldn't matter much today, though. That's kind of a thing in the past, unless you're watching on an older set. Most of them now today should be okay. Bottle caps, what is in the Facebook? I, I don't see anything. Especially, I don't see any flowers or dogs. What do we, Ty speaks, what do we think about real estate investment? If you can do it, go for it. <laughs> We're not, <laughs> we exactly, are not exactly the no, people no, to ask No, it. exactly. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, though. I appreciate your confidence in us. If, if you have any opinion on that, please expand. Yeah. As I said, uh, welcome all the opinions. <laughs> my God. Uh, uh, Philip has been flying for 10 years. New video learning to fly drone 101 is in the works and will be uploaded soon for oh, anyone who needs a beginner service. Perfect. Stuff. Perfect. Excellent. Let us know when yep. it's up. Love, love to see that yep. too. No, nope, that sounds really cool. Exactly. This has been kind of an interesting tech night. Usually we're getting more of it. This, this is more socializing. I'm fine with it. It's, it's Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's just nice hanging with you guys. So. Well, we had a bombardment of questions in the beginning, even yeah. before we started it. But uh, so, yeah, no, that's cool. Guys, uh, definitely. I, uh, some of you have heard this already. We have a policy here after two or three times of visiting. We make people mods because we're all on an evil and playing field here. So everybody's respectful to each other. But I feel bad when I see a couple when everybody else has got blue. So Rocky and Derek show. Let's make you a mod. There we go. And like I say, it's just uh, everybody's respectful to each other, and it's just, uh, we all get along. So, so yeah, usually I wait two or three times, but I know I feel bad about that. So, I kind of feel that you guys are outnumbered. So, yeah, uh, Ty, uh, I agree. I'm, in Canada, especially, it's quite an interesting situation here that every city blows up one after another. Like Vancouver and Toronto, right now is like impossible to buy anything uh, for the reasonable price. And now Montreal is starting to play catch up in that game too. Yeah. So, so you know. uh, I mean, if you have yeah. money, invest in Montreal uh, yeah. uh, real estate because a couple of years is going to cost a couple of millions more. That's yep. exactly <laughs> that right now. And uh, Rocky and Derek show you're very welcome. And it's good to have you here. Well, yeah. even though you had a problem spelling the word tech in the promo, it should be T-E-K. Who? What are they? Hosier. I don't know. I spell it T E K. Like it, it's like yes, a, T E C H is the proper spelling. Yeah, that was kind of the play on words. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's just being funny. Being. Uh, <laughs> oh no problem. Yeah, it's yeah. just a local situation here. Yeah, but it's Vancouver, then mm. Toronto, and now Montreal is kind of following the path. So if you have money to invest, then definitely something to look into. Don't quote me, though. I'm not a financial expert, so <laughs> just living here. The opinions and views voiced in this here live stream are the, are the sole opinions of the host and not to be affiliated with our station or current. People. Yeah. Tech is a hipster way of saying it. Yes, exactly. So mm -hmm. we're trying to be hipsterish. A little What's flare, up, everybody? <laughs> a little flair of Europe. Yeah, that's you know? right. That's right. Inspired by Europe, <laughs> made in Canada. So that's the Europe side. It's fabricated tech. in Japan. Oh, that's pretty good, though. I like it. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> hi, <Taiwan. laughs> uh, hi, driver. Hey, driver. Good to see you. Uh, good to see you. Yep. How are you doing tonight? You're are you you're not on the road right now, are you? Um. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, I'm 34, so I'm I might. I might still fall into that. Yeah, I, I, that train has passed for me. <laughs> I'm, about, I'm by association. I'm actually the end of <laughs> like the the older side of millennials. Too. By like a year, that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. but I still fall into millennials. Yeah, so, I know that. Yeah, 
Yeah. I don't. <laughs> you have a millennial on your hand here. <clears throat> you just got in for the night back at your uh, your home base or on the road? Tuesday tech rave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so <it's laughs> oh, my God. So funny. So, guys, do you have any more questions? And any more questions about YouTube videos? Anything you guys want to chew the fat about? Uh, any more questions about plugins? Uh, like we say, we work with the Adobe Studio, but uh, there's lots of people in here. Uh, what format do your videos? Uh, what format do you put your videos in? Meaning full frame, sixty nine. Uh, I do sixty nine, but then I always add the borders, the black bars. I always like the cinematic look. I like the way it brings the eye. Um. Except for live streams, of course, but pretty much I don't think there's a video I've made yet where I haven't used it. I don't know. I like the, I, I, it adds more intensity and it adds more of a focal point. But that's just my style. That's the way I like to do it. But then again, I do that, but I do it at 30 frames per second where some of the guys are like, oh, my God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get nauseous from watching 30 frames. I can only handle 24. Uh, did, no, uh, he's asking about, uh, did I miss the two buddy opinion? Oh, yes, I was talking about it, but uh, Andrew can talk about it too again. Uh, that's okay. Fishing with bottles, you're taking off. I'll just say a quick goodbye to you. You take care. Thank you so much for coming. Always a pleasure. And two buddy, two buddy's great. I like it a lot. I um, think it's a great, it does a great checklist. I like the way for, um, it's another great way for adding uh, thumbnails into if you do like a live stream night, or is that VidIQ that does that one? Because well, we use VidIQ. Well, you no, can no, use no. YouTube no. for that. You can use TubeBuddy for that. TubeBuddy comes in later on, on uh, at the beginning of that one, but then there's uh, IQ comes in if you're in the middle of it. You can add. I know there was a difference between the two of them. Um, I, I don't know. I, I really like it. I love its import feature, but then again, I, vidIQ has that too for you can save like a list of um, you can save list of tags, which is really cool. And then the checklist is just unbelievable. Like there's so many things that you forget about and it's really a good reminder. I use it all the time for that. And uh, is everybody here pretty much familiar with TubeBuddy? Well, actually, Hosier, we never even bothered paying for it because the, between that and VidIQ, it pretty does much. And then the Xenia, are you still using Morning? Uh, was it? Not yeah, sometimes I do. Yeah, morning, it, it has a, a morning, morning, fame. morning yeah, fame. It has a really good insights on uh, the differences between your uh, channels, uh, between which your videos, and uh, it's just more graphic and visual look to that. Hmm. Uh, so, Morning Fame, if you want to use and check that out, it's just a little different. I, I was saying that we are basically using everything at the same time because each of the free versions has a little bit different uh, features. Like, uh, for example, uh, you know, TubeBuddy and VidIQ is at the same time, and Social Blade sometimes running at the same time, and then we're still checking hmm. uh, the Morning Fame. So, uh, uh, you know, because it has different features to it. So, just uh, let them run all. Rocky and Derek shows us on here. Has anyone ever seen this message? You have too many subscriptions compared to your number of subscribers. I could see that happening, not per se. Yeah, there's a limit to you're, how you're, many you can subscribe to. At one point, it was up until you got like uh, 2,000. I think uh, you were allowed 2,000 subscriptions up to. Because this was falling on the old one, but back like the old requirements to uh, the old requirements to monetize, and then after that, it was supposed to would grow the number as you grew. So that's that's not completely out of the realm. Uh, how long ago did you get that? That's really that's really interesting. Oh, you get that message. Uh, It doesn't surprise me. Uh, so is it still letting you subscribe to anybody? Or every time you try to subscribe to somebody else, that comes up? That's really interesting. Thank you for sharing that with us, by the way. It just started. That's probably what it is. I would go through your list and find a couple that you're not, you know, not really connected with. 
get rid of a couple and see and even that might not work for a bit you know you might have to do that and usually youtube goes like a 24 48 hour reset time so i've had it once before where i sent out you know like uh joining a bunch of people and then it uh, wouldn't let me do it for like 12 hours or something that's why i kind of back away from those things now but I know it's hard when you're just getting started. It, it uh, oh. bye, st uh, bye, step. Uh, oh, she's taking off. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. I love you too. Yeah, you take care. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, it raises the questions though, because in order to subscribe to channels, you have to make your own channel. But not always people have their videos, right? Mm -hmm. Like there are people with channels that are only have them so they can follow, you know, other channels yeah uh, it's it's not there for the purpose of making their own channel so how would they be able to follow their favorite you know shows and streams <coughs> if they're not uploading anything no but it's just their way of trying to control things for sure but like how would they avoid that <coughs> well then you can't have all those people but that's kind of, that's that. kind i know it weird. sucks it's i mean youtube's kind of caught between a, a rock and a hard place and i'm not standing up for youtube believe me, they do some stuff that pisses me off so it it's, should be able then to do that without making a channel because it is weird sometimes to think that people are scamming or like it's just a fake uh for example profile but it's not it's just made there because they can't subscribe otherwise or comment in a chat for example mm. you know but that's what i think i mean they probably i mean even if they pick two thousand like the chances are you think about it if it if it's two thousand and let's say the average videos between all of them you get you know three a week like that's six thousand videos coming in so from their point it is pretty generous on that number before they step yeah, in no, but, i guess but I it guess, does yeah. suck when it's for christopher spence hello welcome 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 and we love you too <laughs> you take care okay thank you for kindness will you bring kindness to the channel so that's what we appreciate i like that you know that when people go away like everybody yeah it's that's nice it's, it's, yeah, uh, ray driver went back to the beginning i think yeah he's, uh, he's watching from the beginning now you <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, guys um, are so amazing so is there any other questions guys anything that's been on your minds about uh you're going through in youtube uh or you're in the middle of editing stuff Oh, you haven't gone yet. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, he gone away. <laughs> oh. oh, that's great. No, definitely, because we love having you here with us. <laughs> New Orleans. I want to take Xenia there someday. Definitely. Yeah. Food, food. Yeah. The nice food, food and music. And, and she's all. superstitious as hell. So yes. she's going to have a ball down That's there. That's my place to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's going to be nothing but tarot readings and graveyards, I figure. So. Well. <laughs> I just want to hear Andrew try doing a southern accent just once. Y'all come back now. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, uh, it's hard keeping up with comments. I'm two days behind. Yes. Oh, we understand that one completely. Yeah, Andrew just did the full day of it today. So I've had to start like using more of a generic response and then going watching, like, okay, I watch one of these videos, I'll do some of these ones today, because you know, the same person's commented. It's not that I don't want to see their stuff, it's just I can't do it anymore. And it's not trying to brag. It's it's because uh, I feel bad. I've always made a point of watching. As soon as somebody commented running over watching some of their video while well, I commented on what they wrote and then keep that ball rolling, but I just can't seem to pull it off as much anymore. Susie Q, welcome. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you. It's safe today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, guitar calling. Oh, oh. I bet. I bet. What are you playing? What do you got to? Alan. Hello. Alan How is here. How are you doing? Alan Oxidine, good to see you. Poof. 
She Doodle said, said that you have to use your inner trucker CP voice. Oh. Um. Oh my God, that's a long time. I I don't know. I talk like I talk now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, break a breaker. We got a. I don't know. I don't know. We got a bird in the sky there. Come on. Trunk in trunk. I hated the CB. I despised it. I turned that thing off every chance I got. All I heard was people bitching about getting robbed blind and about taxes and government. Not awful. It was like AM radio times 100. <laughs> yes, well, ADGH, definitely. Yeah. Except in New Brunswick, I like listening to the people there because they speak French and English at the exact same time, and it was hilarious and mind blowing all together. Well, we glad yeah, you made ten it four, good buddy to you too. What was your? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, we were talking about that the other day as uh, in some channel. I uh, forget which one it was, and oh my god, who was was it? We were talking about traveling, and it's awful. Like when I went to England, I kept hear myself talking like you know with the accent and i wasn't doing it to people as i talked to them but like when i was walking the street because i was traveling by myself for two weeks and I, I don't know if it was the cabin fever or what my sister would have been even worse like my sister would have never lasted an hour yeah yeah you know and it's not even the beautiful you know uh oh pippa type of thing it's that hard football chanting type there if you go to me put like that stuff i catch myself <laughs> and i'd be like oh god you know, like it would just slip out like that in the street. Like, geez, did anybody hear me saying that? You know, I'm really bad with that. Like, I I love watching like TV shows on uh, on YouTube or Netflix that are bridge inspired. But I catch myself even watching the show. I it's just like it comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> I always want the old lady sounding thing, like the footballer lady. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you got a kick out of it, Susie and Andrew. Yeah, bringing a little class to the show once again. <laughs> uh, Philip answered about the oh. guitar. Oh, I'm sorry. My red 1980 lady flying V. Oh, your lady flying V. Wow. Nice. And blocks to add to it. Jeez, yeah. That must be fun. That must be fun. Oh, I'm, I'm glad, Hosier. I'm glad you enjoyed that, yeah. And it is, it's hard. And I thought, in Ireland, it didn't really seem to, like, I love their, the way they talk, but it wasn't so bad. But England was horrible. Like, I was, like, cancer on that place. <laughs> like, I was not not pretty and i called my sister and my sister's the exact same way as me for some reason we both have that so i had some data left on my phone i'm driving a clock uh i was coming back from wales and driving the car and i had the cell phone up in the bracket and her and i were talking back and forth and i had her on so she could see what i was you know as well as saying and we just kept doing that to each other it's not like we we decided to do it it just kept slipping out and that you know you know, have you seen me leggings like that? You know, like over the top, like a Benny Hill esque, like stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Voices, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, My yeah, God, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, fun. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Remy Moore, welcome. Hi, <laughs> I, yeah, it's fine. Uh, we get you. We get you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you should, uh, you know, start a yeah. new career doing oh, this. I know? do, and I hear people, and I just start, that starts going. And it's like, I'm like a baby who is learning to walk until they realize they're walking and fall. Uh, when I, um, I'm, I can do them somewhat until I realize I'm doing them, and then it all gets really muffled and bad. So it's like, oh, that was great. Do it again. And then it's like, ah, 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 I get stage fright, you know, so. I should start recording him, you know, yeah. and like when he does, so then yeah. I can play it to you yeah. guys. <sighs> oh, my God. There now. How about Sling play stand-up comedy with Pusha? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Michael Furberger are hitting the the, the the circuit together. 
he was so amazing last night. I can't. He blew me away because I didn't know what quite to, I knew about him, but like I wasn't quite sure how that was going to play out. But that was a really, really good interview. Yeah, it's always nice when you get somebody to kind of pull back a little, and let some of themselves out. You did. <laughs> uh, oh, Remy, I gave you. Uh, I didn't realize you were sitting around just listening. And I'm like you too. Sometimes I'll sit there. And I'm just like I can't type. But I think it's the only reason why I, I like doing live streams because I don't have to type. That's the, that's the big kick to it all. Uh, hi, Susie. Ray, Terrell, Doug, and Phil. Oh, you're saying hi. Oh, sorry. Sorry for me. Two alpacas. That's what we were talking to about that. It was on their channel. Oh, good. Excellent. Excellent, guys. Perfect. Good for you. Here, I got a gift for you. You became moderators. There you go. You celebrate your 200 and style. Oh, my. I thought they were already. Me, too. I don't know what's... I think maybe we got too many given out, and then as a chat, if somebody comes in and it's already, you know... Maybe so. I'm not yeah. sure, but... <laughs> Nobody does it. We're doing so good, Remy. <laughs> yeah, nobody's, nobody's tested it out. So we'll be the guinea pigs. Right, guys? We'll push YouTube to the limits. That's really great for you guys. Congratulations. Rocky and Derek show. I hit the bell, so I will. Excellent. Thank you so much Thank for coming. Thank you so much. It means a lot when you meet a channel through the day and they actually come by the live stream. And that really does mean a lot. We are here every day at 8 p.m. Eastern, except for Sunday. So even if you don't get the notification or you don't know what's going on, we are here every day at 8 p.m. Eastern. And they, they do they do uh, interviews as well, mm -hmm. so that's cool. We're definitely going to check out some of you guys too. So, thank you so much for coming. And guys, like I said, I'm horrible, horrible with names. But two alpacas. We were talking just before you came. That's the second time that's happened tonight. Yes. <laughs> that's a coincidence. We were just talking about. Uh, Literally just before you came in, and I couldn't remember the channel we discussed it, but it was about talking about uh, doing the accents when you're with people. And uh, yeah, it was on your show we talked. Uh, oh, you like our intro? Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, we're going to probably go into OBS and get that set up. I keep saying that, but there's so much stuff to do here all the time. <laughs> like? Martin, Martin, Martin. And I'm saying that knowing that I'll 99% of the chance forget it by the next time we're together, so never take it personally. That's why I always call people by their channel handles. I have a face I'll never forget. Names, I almost never remember. I'm horrible with them. When I used to go to trade shows, I'd have a flip book from the years past for everybody's face. Because I'd always get a picture with them. Oh, you know, it's good to have for the office. And then I'd keep it. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, uh, Doug. I agree 100%. It's literally... No, I know. And, then, and I'm pretty... You know, I'm pretty... not right. I'm pretty decent in that kind of stuff. Like, once I get going... It's like somebody, when they go, like, a, they use Final Cut Pro, and then they want, they want to go to Premiere... And it's just lately, like, we've had so much life stuff to do. We barely have time to rush in front of the computer to do this. So, but I am going to do it. I, 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 I definitely will. Oh, you guys are amazing. Thank you, ATG, you, you're, for you're... all support. And we're waiting for your Saturday live stream. Definitely yes. tweet it out to us so we can share it as well. And the same with you guys, too. That's why we do mods. Nobody's, like spamming every two minutes or nothing like that if you have something coming up please say it say it in the chat let everybody know oh exactly we're happy to in and in let us know always send us a link or something like that we'll definitely tweet it and yeah because can't rely on youtube uh, reminding stuff that's for sure it is awesome natural journey so you see it before us no spoilers <laughs> Just kidding. No. I, I I posted a link to it, Joey. Yeah, video. I knew yeah. That. Uh, Yes, it's awesome. I I watched it without on very low sound though, so I will have to rewatch it again. She had to do it. I just so she could say she's seen it before I did. 
well, no, I just, <laughs> I wanted to share with you all, just in case, because YouTube is awful on notifications. Yeah, no, Premiere does. I mean, but like, you know, some people just don't want the learning curve into it, but like for me too, like Premiere, uh, it's what I've just grown up with, you know, so that I feel comfortable into it. I feel competent into it. And I'd be the same way, like learning something else right now, even if it was easier. Like DaVinci Resolve, I started playing with. I'm like, you know what? This isn't a bad option. But uh, it's a great program. It's just I don't feel like learning a secondary one. Because I like to use it. I, I've heard their noise reduction is much better. That's what I've been told. Yes, I think a lot of people use it just for that reason, too. Yeah. Linus Tech Tips and those guys, they run it right to their server just for that one, uh, one reason. They do all their editing on Premiere, but. My boss has saved the notifications button on my channel and got the notification during working hours and thought I was posting while at work. Oh my, no. Oh, God. Well, you know, tell him you can plan ahead, you can schedule the, the videos doesn't come out when it rings yeah that sucks oh my god I feel so bad I mean, that's... hopefully hopefully he understood afterwards that's not how it works though um just natural jury we understand yeah oh my sleep. god you said it and triggered my yard sleep Sorry. is overrated yeah. i don't know For the last couple of months this has been oh lara uh does our editing what file uh, type do you save in your YouTube Premiere? Uh, well, I do all. I have two sequences. So my first sequence is when I bring in my 4K, I edit at 1080, and that I export as MXF, which is a lossless format. Once that's all done, and the reason why because there's enough rendering time just trying to put in any effects, if there's noise reduction and all that stuff. Once it's in there, I have a file called uh, 1080. That it creates that mxf and then that one goes into the next sequence and that one is exported as an uh, mpeg4 with custom settings and i go i go cbr and i go really high oh <laughs> you must well that's good that's good that's good panic it's a good way to keep them away uh. It's a great boss. Well, yeah, some yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. It just it probably is the, if you don't know how it works, the first is like, oh, they're exactly on, they're on the job. We had some few people at the beginning of the stream that were on the job. <laughs> Donnie. Yeah. Well, 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 don't tell on them. Yeah, <laughs> it's so fun. Just JJ to... is here. Welcome, JJ. I didn't see you before. I'm assuming you did. You say hi already? No. There you go. Wow. Well, um, One for 16. I'm doing good tonight. I was too busy <laughs> looking at two, so. Well, not sweet. Uh, ten yes, days. Yes, that's, that's right. right. Yes, this natural journey is going to be on in ten days. Can you tell some of the ones are going to be on? Okay. Uh, okay. So tomorrow we're going to have Miss Violet Bird on. Uh, a very That's uh, cool. funny Ukrainian blooded lady. I'll be doing the typing tomorrow night. <laughs> uh, no, uh, it, I think it's going to be lots of fun. And uh, then following, uh, uh, oh my God, there's so many. I don't know. Even this natural know. journey, you have nothing to be nervous about. Nothing at all. It's, it's just us sitting in the living room talking. So don't even sweat it. You know, you're gonna we're gonna start the stream, and in five minutes, you're gonna feel like yeah. you're in Canada. Yeah, well, that's right. <laughs> we start the stream beforehand. We yell and scream at the top of our lungs for five minutes, and then we yeah. bring you on. So have nothing. It's gonna be nice and calm. Oh yeah, can't wait. We're my just God. we're just kidding. It's gonna be a walk in the park. Yeah. Uh. Well, then we have Mister Hoosier here on Friday. Can't wait for that as well. And uh, on uh, Saturday, I'm going to have a special edition of Hashtag Millions Missing. Uh, me and two uh, beautiful ladies uh, yeah. that are not part of this community. One of them is actually not on YouTube at all. It's just more of an Instagram maven. 
and uh, the other one is more of a Twitter queen. Uh, we're going to be talking about invisible illnesses, uh, sharing our own experiences, uh, like me with fibromyalgia, isronic fatigue syndrome, and they're going to be sharing their experiences, and we're going to be talking how it affects us, uh, how we deal with it, talking with the chat, with people who experience the same as well. Uh, I have uh, gotten support from a couple of associations, including Invisible Illnesses Association and Fibromyalgia Associate, National Association, that are going to be using the materials, the videos, and mm. also try to maybe put a little bit fun spin on it at the end. Uh, uh, so it's going to be uh, a raising awareness day because May 12th is actually uh, hashtag uh, millions missing day all over the world. So it's just a way to give back. Uh, so that's on Saturday at 8. And then next week we have full of amazing guests as well. It's going to be Artem Artifica, Trailer Park Guy, Geeks Paranormal, and now our New Zealander guys, Champ. Family, family, uh, Danny, hiking distance. Um, yeah, there's like almost all Mamey is filled up already. Isn't that absolutely mind blowing? Uh, so definitely stay tuned with us. Our Tuesday tech talks we're gonna try and keep just for us, uh, um, just so we can more c connect with you um, <laughs> as well. Like all the tech we covered tonight, where <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> did in the fun. first half, but yeah, it's still it nice to hang out with it's you just guys. Nice, yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's good. We we try to do that during our interviews as well, but obviously, uh, you know, not we can't do it as close as we did today. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty great lineup. That's yeah. right, Remy. Uh, so yeah, just you got to tune every day at 8 p.m. Eastern, except for Sundays, and there's gonna be a new guest. Except Sunday is usually gonna be the photo series. I'm not sure which country it's gonna be yet. Yeah, I gotta work on that tonight after we close down. I'm. I'm thinking maybe uh, Austria, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, Mickey Wilson, welcome. Good to have you here. Always good to have you here. By the way, I tweeted out today your comment about us uh, here yeah. and you guys as a family. I don't know if you've seen it, but I tagged you in it. That was really nice. Thank you so much. I mean, what a great thing to say. Camera time shows how good you guys are and how comfortable everyone is around you. Well, thank you. We hope so. And you know? as I was saying, if you want to come on, yeah, I've seen some people were asking when are you going to be on. So. We, we got a space for you, and they're filling up fast. So we'd yeah. like to have you on. We'd love to have you on. It's just, talk about your photography yeah. if you may. <laughs> you know, it's it's all it is is just, just just talking, and and within within a couple of minutes, you even forget the cameras there. And I mean, we still kind of feel like that sometimes too. We get moments. I've caught myself times in the middle, you two, and you just. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's on, but it passes. And there's three of us here, so we can keep the conversation going. Oh, yeah. Xenia's always got you covered. Yeah. Unless I have to use my white paper. I don't know. I think you're hiding my white uh, flag from me, like on purpose. I think so you I wore it out it. myself. Well, it's I don't. Done. Know. There you go. There. It's pretty flimsy, but. <laughs> What a sad looking thing. Yeah. But uh, if you talk with any of our previous guests, lots of them actually were quite uh, stressed beforehand. Some of them didn't have uh, participated in any live streams before. So I, I can, you know, we can relate to that feeling. Include, of, of, yeah. yeah, including us before. I mean, everybody right. has started uh, doing the live streams for the first time. But uh, I think uh, I would say all of them uh, felt quite comfortable by the end of it because uh, it's really. Just like sitting in our living room and chatting, yep. so no worries there at all. Cliff, no, cliff notes. Watch out, you're going to date you and I, because I know what you mean by cliff notes. Like Xander probably doesn't know what they are. No. They were used for, uh, uh, you get them, you buy them, and they were like basically like the main points in books and stuff like that, so you could cheat on tests. You buy them like they were just Yeah, the because notes. I wasn't cheating on tests about reading and literature. I was actually reading it. <laughs> So therefore, I don't know what is cliff notes. <laughs> See, he did 52 seconds live on his channel already, Camaro time. Yeah. So there you go. You have done live. Well, so then you're there's fine. no question right there. 
and uh, yes, yeah, yeah, there'll be five journey. of us. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Right. Sometimes it's more, but at least three. So yeah, at you least got minimum, three. you got three with you. So, <laughs> yeah, I was a good student. Yes. I wasn't. I was not, and more than happy to cheat at any time given up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been in trouble for a long time. No, I actually did these. Uh, if you keep yourself in trouble, at least you know where you stand all the time. So it's just better to stay there. I wonder sometimes how do kids nowadays cheat? Like uh, we on, uh, we did cheat in history because our teacher was very strict, and it was almost impossible to to cheat with him. And if you did, you basically failed the whole year if you got uh, you caught. So what we did, we uh, we prepared the cheat sheets in a group. Like everybody got their subject, and they were writing tiny, tiny pa like papers with points of the history subject that we had exam on. And then we would put it inside the pen, the see-through pen. Mm -hmm. We put the roll inside the and pen, you and you could see it while you were writing. Yeah, yeah we did that one too. The yeah, big pens. And and it was yeah. the only way how we could cheat on uh, history. Because it was impossible, impossible to pass <laughs> otherwise. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Post-Soviet cheating, you heard it here first. <laughs> Love it. Hold your back, OD. You all have made me feel very comfortable about the live, and we haven't even done it yet. Exactly. Uh, oh, uh, I bet you stood in the corner a good bit. I never left the corner. <laughs> I Still think I'm kind of there. I'm look at I'm two feet away from it right now as we speak. So it was a troublemaker. Yeah, yeah. Still is sometimes. <laughs> naughty, <laughs> very naughty. Uh, yeah. Excuse oh me. my God. Yeah. Well, what? Yeah. But do you know the best thing about doing cheat sheets is that you learn while you do them. So I mean, really, at the end, by the time you finally get them done, uh, you know the subject anyway. So. Susie said she used to do that too. Oh yes, yeah, fun. And, and, so, then, and then computers like started, so we actually could print it in like uh, five or six size. You know, the tiny, tiny, so you could actually need the glasses to be able to read it. But uh, yeah, that was fun. And you had to know, we everybody had like 10 pens because you didn't know which subject he would pull out. Right. So we, we had them numbered and you had to quickly switch the pen to know which one. Yeah, so that was interesting. <laughs> That's uh, quite a tale. Oh no, <laughs> Susie, the warning, the warning <laughs> coming out there. He's watching it. It. Uh, Oh. Yes, Ray, exactly. Depends on people. And we have good people here too. So uh yes, natural <laughs> journey. You were supposed to go back to work from lunch. I'm trying to avoid the subject you're watching you. <laughs> we always celebrate Susie's work. What's that everybody? You want an instant replay? Okay, well if you insist. Oh no, Camaro Time did live today for 35 minutes and then Deleted it by accident. Did you hear that? I because I thought it was live. Yeah, and it deleted by accident. Oh no, you're too young. <coughs> <coughs> well, it's only it's Excuse only me, I'm Sorry, I was laughing at Remy's comment. Oh God, I'm sorry. Well, anytime you see him smiling over there and wonder what he's doing, he's watching one of your videos, and most likely it's a Cocoa Puff video. Um, is this the loop? Yeah, it, it's it's loop on Andrew's uh, laptop, I think, yeah. <laughs> the constant screensaver. Yeah, I, I don't know, Ball Caps is missing on it, so... Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. It's I think it's his background on on the on the laptop. I'm, I I swear it must be. Hello, Brian and Box. Nice to see you. Yeah, we were wondering that it must be your background on the phone or on the laptop. The video, Andrew. What's that? That the video should be a backdrop uh, for your uh, phone or. Uh, you know, the oh, constant, yeah. constant loop yeah, that's a good background. idea on loop all the time. Kind of like Nick, Casey Neistat does with the Godfather 2. We'll have Susie's uh, lump touching on. 
<laughs> yeah, JJ, we did our first live too after we got a thousand. We kind of weren't re really ready for the thousand with a video to come up with. So Andrew said, let's go live to celebrate. And we never yeah. stopped since. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Pretty much. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Except for Sundays. Yeah. Except for for one Sunday. <laughs> all of, Yeah. We, we literally have been here every day. Um, Kinder egg, yeah. Well, the the cherries, those are pretty good too. And Twinkies, <laughs> top three is, is the cocoa balls, Twinkies, and cherries. Oh, uh, that that I'll never forget the night I first seen that video and I wrote to her because <laughs> nobody had said it yet. I even checked in the chat, nobody said anything. I'm like, I like your video, the little PG, <laughs> but yeah, and that's when the bond started between Susie and I. <laughs> what is ESP? Panicked videos. And what time you have your stream? Again, uh, tell yeah. for those who don't Perfect. know. Of course, as long as you learn something along the way, that's all that matters. That's right, one hundred percent. With all the singing you do, you should be a pro. <laughs> oh, he's sometimes dying here from laughing. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta sometimes tune in when we have Adult Swim here. Oh, it's that uh, Stephanie, best friend in your thread. She just gets yeah, every yeah, time. Yeah, 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 because she's the one that is spoiled in her mind. Uh, and then we have Adult Swim, and, and Doug is going to tell you all about it. That's when Andrew is literally dying from laughing. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> if you want to want that, you're going to watch out. For and we're, we, we instigate each other. Oh, we can my knock God. Each other fire each other up. <laughs> Susie, uh, bond forever. That's right. We'll always have the hostess bumps. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Panic D videos is a... 5 p.m. Eastern. ADHD travels at 6 p.m. Eastern, and we are at 8 p.m. Anybody else on Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> Tweet at us so we can uh, share it. Yeah. Yes, she is great for funny. She is a. Uh... She should be home anytime. But yeah, I was surprised she wasn't on yet. Her poor husband probably doesn't even see her. She just runs right up to her closet. I think he works night shift sometimes. So. Getting some dinner, yes. Yeah, you're finally home, so definitely enjoy life calling first. Calling home. Calling home. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought he finally is home. And we love having you here, Ray. And you be safe on the road and, uh, <laughs> you know, always know we're thinking of you, okay? Tisra cut a phone call and came back to Susie playing again. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> it, you never know what it might play. <laughs> oh, extrasensory perception. Yeah, interesting. I'm going to be part of uh, a study with MRI, a study where they actually are going to be testing uh, extrasensory perception using VR while doing MRI. Imagine that. I'm so excited for it. <laughs> Did you read Remy's comment? <laughs> Susie, you should do a banana peeling tutorial. I'm sure there are people who aren't sure how it's done. <laughs> there are now Doug Doodles by Doug. There's given the old uh, note of banana, carrot, and cucumber. Oh my God. No, Susie, I really think that you should open then uh, like a different oh channel, my God. Uh, which Wait. would be like Naughty Susie or something like that. And <laughs> uh, yeah, Susie, tell us about your ho ho. <laughs> Naughty Susie kitchen tips or something. And yeah. Yeah, and do these videos yeah. because it's definitely seems like it it's a winner. Tons of, uh, tons of attention from that. Thumbs up. There you go. <laughs> yeah, Spanic D. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Yeah. To, it's it's going to be interesting for yeah. sure. Um, Naughty Nibblers. That's right. That's that's a pretty good name for it. No. Yeah. Hey, I've been pushing your channel, so you got to give me some credit here. I think I've helped bring some awareness to the Suzy Network. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah caps uh, i mean i don't know why oh. is he not here yet he's probably looking yeah, all over youtube where's exactly susie? where's susie i should message him yeah uh, i don't know where he's gone let's he's see hiding somewhere let's see how fast it's gonna happen uh, so other than another channel or he went to pork chops or something like this susie two alpacas you guys take care here. thank you so much for coming and uh, we'll talk to you soon, okay? Appreciate yes. It. Smoking a grilling with AB is here. Welcome, welcome. Hi, hi, hello. 
Your buddy was here a while ago, and you get a moderator? Yeah. There we go. Can't have you walking without the blue wrench in your name. What you cooking today? Guys, you should see some of the stuff this guy's oh putting together. Right? Uh, which which one of them two were doing those amazing hamburgers? Oh the my other day? Oh, I thought uh, like I would. Oh my god, I'm talking and I'm 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 ah. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm like really I'm like bitching was... at her. Jenny, we're having hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm literally I mean, getting I can't even the try, you know, to make oh. them like that. They looked so good. <laughs> yeah, no, those were those were works of I, art. I, I wish I could just take them out of the screen. They were, and, and I'm not exaggerating. You just go yeah. go and see it because that was some crazy hamburgers, and it's not the only thing they make. We called into their show the other night. Uh, Jay Wade, that was here a while ago. Um, uh, they do they do their uh, stream together. It's really cool because they each do it. They do it at the same time, both their channels, and they have, they have their phone number up. And I called uh, I called uh, AB, and we spoke on the phone. That was really cool. Oh yes, yeah. Was... We're doing great. It's so good to have you here. I'm really a fan. Of, I'm really a fan of your your channel. I love it. I really do. It's got a great energy to it. I love all the sound effects. I like how the wife is doing the moderating and yeah, all this you stuff. You are a new food channel. Yeah. Together with the Hot Ones, uh, yeah. your channel and Hot Ones is on a constant rotation on, yeah. on, in here. So. Yep. When you're on his channel, like when you're on his stream, you're, it's just part of the excitement. It's You know when they do a morning show and they have the cooking segment? It's like that kind of feel to it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! It's a, it's, yeah. A, it's definitely, but it definitely has that Food Channel feel to it, you know, that yeah. live action, mm -hmm. uh, like Iron the Chef. The way the camera's back thing. in the corner, corner yeah. you know, kind of gives that wide, like yeah. angled like view. Like Iron of Chef when they do, definitely that feel to it. I love it. And he's cooking. I love it. And he's got like that chef thing, you know, where they put their arms out like that when they're walking around, like he's stirring something and talking, but you see him from back. And then uh, Jay Wade is like standing there hitting sound effects and everything. Oh yeah, drinking of the plastic glasses. Oh my god, it's such a good I love it. A really, really, really great uh, live stream. Easy, Easy and welcome. Good to see you again. How are you? He's got that. Yeah. He's By the way, we're still having to say tech talk uh, just in case. Uh, we're just uh, kind of transformed it into socializing. But yeah. if you have any questions, please. please. Yep, feel free. Yeah. We got to make easy a moderator too. There you go. That's how I roll is in. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you for letting us know that you are back home, yes. safe and sound. Really happy to hear that. It's uh, like we were just talking about that last night. You know, uh, we're all like kind of family here, and it's nice that we're connected enough. We never want anything bad to happen to people, but if something does happen, it's nice that we can know. Instead of just wondering, you know, as a channel, you would regularly just follow and oh, did the guy stop doing it? Is he sick or whatnot? So yeah, we were think we we're thinking about you. We mentioned you in the chat and stuff like that. And it's good to have you on. Yeah, like Mickey was saying, we're like family here, and that's true yeah. because we do, you know, think about what's going on. Like you guys were in the hospital, you know, what's going on? Are you guys okay? You know, at the, like Rick now, you know, we say okay, and then it's like so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's way beyond the channels, as we say here, and that's true. Easy to ask how we're doing. We're doing good, and it's uh, great to have you here. It's uh, it's such a great mix. I like how people, you know, sometimes come in, and then there's some that are always here, and then there's some new ones. Everybody's respecting each other. What an amazing, this is, you couldn't buy this kind of stuff. There's no amount, I always say, there's no amount of AdSense that could, replace having a great chat. If you chat look for Vikings a, a wedding yeah. on Google, it I'm, comes I'm up real, uh, as a second one. I already have it here. I know you do, but I know you do. So you don't want me to post away. You can second. All I wanted wait. to say that uh, it comes up a second on Google. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. And uh, if I may say anything. You may. There you go, uh, guys. You know, you know how we are always, uh, all of us here, <sighs> thinking about the time and the subs and watch time and all that. Well, this one, we haven't really uh, done anything to it. We forgot about it for two years. And when we came back, it had 20,000 views. <laughs> yeah. We're little, let's see what the, the view, could, literally this thing was just kind of fell on its own. 
and we're at 27,631 views. This video has two and a half times more than our own videos on. on it's uh, unbelievable. Nothing yeah. was done to it. It wasn't promoted. It just yeah. was there for our, uh, you know, parents and, and relatives to see. And uh, yeah, it, it just blew up in a way. So maybe the best uh, tip from mm -hmm. Tuesday Tech Club, just leave your video yeah, alone. Just drop them there, let them and... be orphaned and come back in five years and see where they are. <laughs> and you might make five bucks off of it. Yeah. It's too bad you can't can't transfer the videos to the, to I the know, channel. I know. Without the likes, so cool. uh, you know, because it is a lot of them. It sucks. Well, yeah. Uh, Mike Pic Pickett, hello. Oh, that's okay. We are, mm, yeah, we're just hanging out right now. Uh, so welcome, welcome. My wife and my son have the same thing. Unless you yell in their ear, like you can't whisper something like her point, they never get it. They just look at you. It's unreal, like that. I'm trying to ask her something that's looking up here without saying it right in the camera. Yeah. Never mind. It's hard just to, to know when you're pointing at 10 different lines at the same time. Yes, I did already, just now. That's not what I mean. But all good, all good, all good, all good. All good. My first videos were misleading. They did, did everything just <laughs> Susie. We appreciate you all. We got to check in and bring a little bit of normalcy to the craziness. You guys were there with us for the <laughs> Yes, know, my God. Know, Thanks, my God. You don't awful. have to experience that again. That was awful yesterday. Mm. Glad you guys changed, like, got change of the room for sure. Yeah, that wasn't uh, a, a very nice event to go through. Especially when you're already ill, like, you don't have enough stuff going on in life then to deal with something like that. I'm just glad you're back. Yeah, mad pee guy, exactly. I made a video about it. For those of you who want to watch the video in full afterwards, I'm just uh, putting the link in Viking Wedding. <laughs> Thank you so much, Teeth Throat. And yes, uh, anybody who hasn't heard it yet, our clothes were based on the uh, TV show Vikings. And we brought the lady a bunch of screenshots to a, she was a designer downtown who does wedding dress and does uh, medieval clothing. Welcome home, Stephanie. Stephanie's here. Welcome home. Are you cuddling a wine bottle as you cry in your closet right oh now with us? Oh my gosh, she's <laughs> never going to be coming here if you keep coming <clears throat> her like that. No. <clears throat> it's very simple to understand. Susie likes to touch and get up and close and personal with yeah, the hostess lumps. Yeah, starting if you're underage. And, and Stephanie has a crazy, unnormal obsession with the bottle, but that's okay. And when Stephanie is ready, oh, oh, Stephanie, it's been a couple of days. She's dad. She's calling you dad, so. Stephanie, just remember, when you're ready to face what's going on in your life and you're ready to tell that bottle, I've had enough. There is an AA in Rochester where nobody will know that you went there and you can get the help that you need so your husband can smile again. Just remember, we all got you and we'll get through this together. You don't have to live by the bottle anymore when you're ready to give it up. Back to our regular show. That's how I go. roll. I was saying that they were watching the wedding video and kept waiting for you to appear and then realized it was you. Oh. Didn't recognize him. <laughs> well, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. It's a good one. Thank you, Smoking. Yeah, we're kind of hanging out today. Usually we have guests, uh, except for Tuesday Tech Talk. We talk a little bit of tech and tips, and then we hang out uh, with people in the chat. But uh, other days uh, we have guests. Oh. As, for example, tomorrow we're going to have uh, Violet Bird on. Uh, uh, a very nice and uh, lovely uh, lady from 
Here's Bottle a story of a lovely lady. Yeah, Violet Bird is going to be on tomorrow. Yeah, no, that's um, going to be really fun. Yeah, she's she's really fun. Has a very good sense of humor, so I think you're going to enjoy that tomorrow. Yeah, Sandra's parenting all the time. Everybody, <laughs> me including. Oh, Bottle Caps is standing his territory. Did you get my message? <laughs> is that why you're here? Because He's come to save Susie. Yeah, because I did <laughs> I did send him a message that he you are here, here, Susie. I think it took you way too long to come. I love it. I was kind of expecting you would popping in right there. But or popping out, depending how you look at it. Well, yeah, Caps. So. <laughs> That's right. I love his Dougie. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, oh, you're not working, JJ. Oh, no. Yeah, you don't want to be driving when tired. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Uh, always great to see you. This is... Okay. Um, great stream. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Yes, thank, thank you. you guys. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. We oh yes, thank you, smoking. Thank you, much appreciated. Um yes, exactly. Are you Dr. Phil, Andrew? Well, yesterday's guest, uh, <laughs> yeah, Michael Ferberger was, was Dr. Phil very uh very successfully. He inspired us, so, or I'm taking on in his absence. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, good luck. Oh, what's that? What did I miss? Uh, Stephanie is having her second interview tomorrow. Oh, yes, I'm sure it's going to go today, well. So. Just take it easy on the bottle tonight. You'll do fine. You had nightmares about the the <laughs> about the balls. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! for everybody we all love a tune in the meantime you scared brenda who just got in with all that oh. sound and uh rick is in hi and hello yeah you guys come in came in right on time with uh, our special or andrew's edition of susie's <laughs> susie's, susie's lump reaction we'll call it i don't think it's susie who's not i think it's andrew well it's a kind of a team effort yeah <laughs> She brings oh, out the best no, one. Rick. Well, we hope that it, it, it feels better soon. Uh -oh. Yeah, terrible uh, start of the week or the weekend uh, yeah. for lots of YouTubers here uh, lately. Oh, That's did we so... get married in Second Life? No, I did. No, did we? We looked into having a kid. <laughs> I remember that going into the store looking to buy a baby suit because we yeah, thought we that had, was kind of interesting. A, uh, we had a pet. Yep. Yeah. I had a, it was a panther, a black panther, and I trained it. And it was weird because it was trained to like search the perimeter. You could actually have ones that would like throw people out of your property. And I had this one would actually shag your leg until you couldn't take it anymore and finally leave. <laughs> this is whole digital. 
yeah. Black Panther like that for yeah. yeah God, it was so long ago. Yeah. Yeah. The funniest one I always I think I was just telling it the other night was um because I always like the building stuff. So I built a house, I rented a piece of property, and I just like fooling around with those things. And I got this TV, cost me a couple of dollars, and you bring it in. And at that time, you could put a script into it, and it would actually watch YouTube videos. So you could sit on the couch and watch it. And I was trying to get it going, and it wasn't working. And literally, like, three of my neighbors came over, and we're all standing in the living room trying to get this television working. And it's like, this game is so ridiculous. Like, it even could reenact the most boring, common day things that usually happen. Three men sitting there, and everybody knew what they were talking about. Yeah, yeah, and the exactly. other ones don't. Yeah. Uh, Rick, you, you did Donny. decide to do it live. Oh, that's great because I remember we talked about that and you weren't guys sure if we were doing it. Uh, that's awesome. And uh, custom cards, welcome. Uh, oh my God, they're all pouring in. Evan yeah, the Pay Donnie, Taurus. Did you finish your job or are you still at work watching us on the break? Evan the Pay Taurus got the best, one of the best handles in YouTube. I love it because he's a truck driver and he is a paid tourist. I like that. Yeah. yeah that, that's really. And, oh, we went fishing with, in Georgia. Mm. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Oh, you tired out. Well, yeah, my God, it's so yeah. late at your place. So, uh, you know, yeah. get some sleep. Yeah, <laughs> but it is always great to have you here. For sure. Thank you for checking back uh, in our stream. Uh, but, yeah, please. Uh, you guys are so awesome. And look, guys, all blue. I'm so proud of that. Blue wrench nation. Blue wrenches for everybody. Everybody has their nations now. Yeah. Uh, every channel. Right. So our what are we gonna have? Like blue, blue wrench. wrench. Blue wrench. Blue wrench nation. Hashtag blue rich. There you well, go. Well, are you back from your cigarette break after Susie's uh, video? Yeah. <laughs> Jiggly <laughs> show. <I see>. uh, <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's right, Brenda. See, wrenches for everybody. <laughs> there you go. We have a policy. Usually, everybody comes in a couple of nights before we give them, but now the the gap is getting so narrow. Yeah. And we always hashtag do it. Hashtag equality. It's called. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah right. Hashtag blue wrench. Exactly. We all respect each other. Everybody works together, so everybody can be on the same level here. Look at all the people in here. I'm so glad. I, I, I'm so glad Spoken's here. I wish the Jay Wade was here as well. I get you guys always together at the same time. It's almost hard to picture one without the other now. Oh, well, no. Just... Honestly, Brenda, I'll tell you the truth. The best way is when we come on and you're back on, if you can ever just uh, uh, tweet us out. And if you have two or three good friends, we don't say invite everybody. I'd love to have people here, but it's nice we have a group that's growing decently and good to each other. So if you have always have two or three friends that you think would like it here, you could tell them that would be awesome. That's worth more than I always say than any AdSense could ever pay. Butterfly Brooks wants a. I don't know. I just did. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. don't, I don't know. I don't know how you don't have it. I'm more worried about Brooke having that kind of power. Kind of My scares God. me because yes. it has it does go to her head. Look what she does to Rick sometimes there. Bossing them around. It's nice to see. Rest. Are you home? Hopefully, getting some rest. Yeah. I hope so. I mean, yeah. probably Rick is just asking for everything. See, so. see, you see what women are like. There's a great example. Look, 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 look. Where is it? Best friend, your thread. Give Brooke a wrench. All the women start. All your uteruses come together like care bears, and you gain energy that way through nagging. Unbelievable. Look at so. so to West Thebes, exactly. you don't exactly care bears because yeah. we are supposed to be the caring, nurturing ones. Uh, well, then, nagging, uh, nagging. well, then don't complain. You nagging. want us to be women to be like women, <clears throat> then that's what the, we are. So, <laughs> yeah, it's like Oprah you get a wrench, yeah, yeah, you exactly. get a wrench. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> there you go. I had an opportunity to stop by. I hope everyone's doing well. We're doing great. So, the West theme, I don't know why it says, uh. It has you as moderate. I think we've officially... I just did. Okay. I was surprised that they should have been already. So I think there's only so many wrenches to go around. Probably. And then when they come back in, they we recycle. Broke YouTube, so. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Not nagging husbands. Lord God, Brooke got a hole in his computer. Poor husbands. Nag nagging abused husbands. 
Yeah, my God. Yes, JJ. Uh, that's right. And that's why hashtag equality, hashtag blue wrench. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, you know, you guys are as important uh, as we, if everybody does uh, make that, you know, it's not just talk. Everybody makes this live stream. Without you guys, it wouldn't be possible. So that's why even on Tech Talks, we always encourage people to put their own opinions, she's, answers to the questions because... Brooks read the put uh, Rick on time. <laughs> yeah, I I could just because I'm a <coughs> that's why probably just <coughs> get back at him. Oh my god, that's so funny. This is a party. It's a good party. There are lots of great people here. Oh, there she got a wrench. Okay, good. That's all. The wife is always it. right for a quiet life. Exactly. I I don't like quiet. I like stirring the pot. Yeah. I don't yeah. think so. I often have to use this. If you would like quiet, then I wouldn't have to use this. So, Jeez. yes, I included the ranch. Today oh, gee, I knew somebody was going to say that. I knew somebody was going to say it at some point, Donnie. Oh, <laughs> get our tools. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew it. Actually, last night with what's his name there, I thought it was going to come up too. There, I was. That's how I roll. Furburger. Furburger. Vote for Michael Furber. This guy was, he's, uh, he's lit, we'll call it. Your wife thinks you're crazy. Well, yeah, if you are wearing her dress on Sunday, Simon. Obviously. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. These are two words for a successful marriage spoken by the husband. But it'll suck. <laughs> it's Thank you. Is it because Rick took out the whip there? He was talking about it. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, oh, you guys are funny. You guys are unbelievable. That is funny. Oh, now, god. I'm going to go on Twitter and put just a hashtag blue wrench. I like that. I think that's nice. And let's tweet it out. Just yeah. a hashtag. Nothing else. Uh, it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> oh, the nuts. That's uh, so the West themes. We got the wrenches. Now we got her the nuts. <laughs> Where are the nuts? Oh, my God. You guys are hilarious. You guys are hilarious. Oh, we would make a sweet dodgeball team. Oh, I, can you imagine Stephanie and dodgeball? She'd be the girl that, oh, uh, in the middle. I could just see it right now. Okay, so I tweeted Blue Ranch. Uh, <laughs> go and retweet it or tweet it out. Just the word, just for fun. Yeah. Everybody hashtag Blue Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. This is, yeah, this is going to be huge. Yeah, exactly. That's it's right. It's going to blow up anytime. 100% guarantee it's going to be huge. <laughs> oh, our Twitter link. Yes. Uh, yeah, go over to our Twitter and retweet our blue wrench. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Or tweet your own. <laughs> Dead tweet your own wrench. Huh? Tweet your own wrench. Yeah, tweet your own wrench. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm waiting. Yes. <laughs> yeah, blue nuts. <laughs> blue nuts for everybody. We would make yeah. a sweet dodgeball yeah. team. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Either I'm drunk or it's getting late. Yeah. Well, it could be both. Yeah, it could be both. Never hurts to have a who has loose nuts. Yeah, who has loose nuts. That's <laughs> who has no nuts. <laughs> you know. Uh. <laughs> Better than having a monkey wrench. That's all I gotta tell you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my Guys god. are awesome. Who here has a few loose a few screws loose? Shouldn't be anyone because we all have the tool to solve that issue. They're awesome guys. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Susie, Brenda, and Reese just retweeted yeah. that. That's amazing. Excellent. Oh, that's funny. 
Yeah, I am having coffee. I was wondering too why it is only coffee. <laughs> I think it should be something else by now, but <laughs> you could be some coffee for See, see. Yeah, actually I could. I figured you would want to Oh, okay, there's no sugar into it. No. <laughs> Speaking of loose nuts. <laughs> yeah, this one end. Okay, that's all. Awesome. That's awesome. I'll save some for you too. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, you've been doing it so fast. I didn't want to... <laughs> We listened to Farberger too long, yes? Yeah, yeah exactly. With the influence. size of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, mm. Brenda, here, this one's the sip is for you. There you go. It is oh, an excellent yes. group of people. This is so much it's, fun. It's a really cool. Yeah. Uh, the two guys all are here. Yeah. It's, it's so much fun. Well, oh, now you got to pee. Well, well you got to go pee. Don't want to change pants after. So. Well, yeah. What do you want to sit in his own urine there? What's... <laughs> <laughs> Not a slave driver or anything. <laughs> yeah. No, no. It's okay that you wet yourself. Just don't move. Stay on the computer chair. <laughs> Life first. So. There, you see, that's how I roll. You inspire. Now she wants all of her audience to sit in their own urine with like the guy you had to put up with the other. Oh night. my god. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Oh my god. I see. Yeah, I had coffee on standby exactly because I always know what he wants. Donny, oh, I had to cut off my nuts. Cut my nuts. So that's the. That's not a good scenario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was wondering too, uh, Stephanie, who did you refer to when you say dignified? <laughs> I, I sure doubt it was Andrew. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my God. If I got to start talking British again tonight, look out because mm -hmm. I'll be in. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you missed the southern accent from Andrew earlier in the stream. <laughs> Jeez. It was, it was Ozier, right? You know what, Stephanie? Uh, we were dignified until Andrew started his own live streams. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're spoiled. So. Oh my god. Everybody's still on the nuts. <laughs> Everybody's still on the nuts. <laughs> mm. Oxy fuel cutter. Yeah, that's not fooling around there. That's uh, <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> yes, I know, right? It was so nice and polite, and then it's just <laughs> hi, Gregory. Welcome, Gregory, welcome. welcome to our yeah nut house today. After hours party here. <laughs> We're after hours after yeah. party nut house. Yeah. Touche. Yep. Yeah. Oh, is this, we have a thing, sign of respect. Get those nuts red hot, yeah. then blast them off. That's what the right. hell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm cutting them yeah, off. I know, he's getting rough there. <laughs> yeah, this is adult content. I yeah. should put the, the thing like I was doing yesterday with the, oh, <laughs> the fur burger. I love when you asked what the fur because I knew Xenia didn't know what it meant. And I well, I'm not from Canada. And I didn't, I didn't want to tell her. I wanted him to be able to explain it. No, I always thought about this hairy burger, which is apparently. <coughs> oh my god. The look on your face when he started telling me was priceless. <laughs> well, now it makes sense. Well, no, but did you not think fur burger? Did you not think for a second? Well, I'm not so spoiled as you are. That's what the whole problem is. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. You know. <laughs> oh my god, almighty. Yeah, no sense in half stepping in, which is dude. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, welcome mm. back, crazy. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Might as well run with it. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, there we've crossed the threshold. We do have an 18 plus up now, folks. What you have fallen off? Re the pinnacle. Yeah. Pinnacle. Who's reading Pinnacle? We haven't. <laughs> God, Sometimes help. I really think. Potato Stephanie, sack. Stephanie, <laughs> butterfly, Brooke, help me. 
Yeah, exactly. I really think he wants to get rid of me sometimes. Too. He's so enjoying his morning live streams that now it's like, oh no, I have to do this one with her. <laughs> oh, you told oh, Rick choked on his vapes. Jeez, sorry about that. Yes, be careful. You don't want to be choking your neck. You I was gotta... trying to cheer him up the other morning. He was, he was laying on his back while he was talking to us because he was in pain. So I did the floating Andrew head all over. I kind of got inspired by the Coriolis effect, meant, I guess, with yeah. the bobbing head coming out. Yeah. And yeah, and now choking. See yeah. what you're doing to Rick. Yeah, exactly. See what you're doing, no? And Steph, don't worry, Steph was there to nag me for doing that to Rick, just as you would have done if he was there. <laughs> He's already in enough pain. Glunk, 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 glunk. Uh-uh. about how many uh, quarts a day would you say you put away on an average Wednesday? This is the yeah, making of right. a huge YouTube phenomenon, that's yes? That's right. Blue Wrench. That's this is this is how I hashtag blue wrench. This is how I had planned it out. Oh, I'm loving it, guys! You're, you're tweeting it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to choke your neck, because I mean. And there's actually somebody doing the blue yeah. wrench, like a company. Imagine all these tweets coming out. And yes. Then, uh, that's gonna be funny. You don't want to choke your neck. Xenia, best line ever. Yeah, Xenia's got a lot. Oh, the other night, I can't remember what she said. She came up with one of her famous, I'm tired. Let's try and say uh, a Latvian uh, expression in English. What was it? It was just like lightning when it came. You had all the confidence in the world, and it came out like, you know. Yeah. It was It was like, when Xenia does that, it's like taking a box of words and just throwing them on the table, and you read them whatever order they come out into. And I put up with this thing. See you guys, yeah. Uh, and yes, Hauser, yeah. See, like, that's why Bottle Caps is not here, despite of Susie being here, because he prefers Andrew being alone. Like, I, I, I long say that they have to go on a date or something, that's because right. he always praises Andrew's morning streams. And well, I don't know. I think I'd have uh, a tough time. Uh, uh, Michael Furberger gave me Thank a lot of you, offers last Brooks. night. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, the uteruses are coming together again, guys. Look out. Well, Hit we, the deck. We are in minority mm -hmm. here, so I don't know what you're complaining. Oh, it doesn't really? take much. A couple women here, and your guy's like, oh, no, they're <laughs> nagging. That's right. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Presents, not cards. I'm better than a card. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't mind Stephanie, it's just the vodka talking. She's okay. And you doodle coming on. Are you doing it now or are you yeah. having a stream on Sunday? Oh, Miss Kathy, welcome. Hi, welcome. Good to see you. Yeah, it's uh, it's fairly safe. Uh I don't know, is Jesse up with yeah. you? It's kind of some innuendos. Flying yeah, we're around. just kind of talking and chatting, but it's just yeah. chat goes a little bit. I know you don't let her but, really get involved in yeah. chat, but still. But Kathy, uh, it, Kathy's here, so we're gonna lay off the innuendos about the wrench and that. Everybody's just gonna talk. We don't wanna. The no, happy Canadian is here. Oh, blue wrench doodle. Oh, that's hilarious. That's amazing. There's gonna be another. Um... You're so amazing. Yes, exactly. We're gonna start framing these things. Yeah, I don't know why this is uh, oh because we were moving yeah. the frame today. Let's put it back on. That's right. Doodles by Doug. Push the studios on a doodle. Oh, Arda Morbid is here. Welcome. Hi. Good to have you. Another upcoming guest. Yeah, uh, next Monday, 14th. So uh, we're gonna have him talking about his channel. And mainly about his street photography series that he's just coming he's out. He's got a amazing, really good style. Instagram, uh, love it. Really professional. I would love to see him and A. Joe collaborate together. Yes, definitely. That would be a... Definitely. Oh, okay. Uh, no. no, we just wanted to make yeah, sure yeah. that Jesse is not. It's not nothing rude, really. No, nothing, we're just nothing more around. quite close to what it was here yesterday. Yeah. We're just fooling around, hanging and out. And you know, Kathy, you wrote a really nice message today, and I don't reply. I didn't reply to it because I don't. I didn't have the time to say I'll give it the attention it deserved. Uh, you have such kind words with the whole thing, and I liked like last night. You know, there was such a great example of a person that can think Money for themselves. Calls. I don't, did she wasn't really like, you know, Furberger wasn't really her cup of tea, but instead of saying, oh, I hate your channel or don't bring him on, it's like he wasn't my cup of tea, so I just left early and she's back here tonight. And that's the maturity of people in our chat. And that's what I appreciate. So, exactly. You know, 
that was uh, really cool you to do and your words were very nice today Thank oh you we have much. a spam messenger yay first one a spam messenger want to make help I, you don't see it or no. only i see it where is it uh under Artemore? yeah yeah i don't see it oh <gasps> how is it possible somebody kicked them already then maybe oh, okay okay got to head out well that's okay Gregory. Yeah. thank you for coming and saying hi uh premier pro won't open oh no yes that's all that can be uh they're glitchy like that's yeah. nice. i understand the restart so good luck and uh Come thanks for coming tomorrow. by yep well i have a great guest tomorrow night so and um, Camaro time you have a great night thank you so much for coming always great to have you here oh no Kathy mm. exactly just wanted to uh, because I know you sometimes are there with Jesse and I yeah. know you don't uh allow her really to get involved in chat but still just wanted to put it out just in case the whole point is we never want anybody to ever feel uncomfortable here yeah yeah so, you know, that's, and everybody's great about that. I, that's so. Yeah, that's how, like, yesterday when I tweeted out, I kind of was saying proceed with caution uh, because, yeah. <laughs> like, a warning. But uh, we're back to our normal programming, so. And even even Michael Ferber, really, we kind of worked him a little while and got him to open up some more about himself. Mm -hmm. And that was such a, his comedy's off the wall, but the guy is really, like, a sometimes even ahead of his time. And we brought the example that uh, Canadian, they asked um, um, Mike McDonald, who is Canadian, originally from Ottawa, one time he was asked why there were such great comedians come out of Canada, like Jim Carrey and all these guys, uh, John Candy, the list goes on and on. And he had always a good answers because back then, and even sort of today, there was nowhere for them to go if they were a comedian. So they'd be doing clubs for the next 20 years. Where then when they came to the States, some of these guys, the first thing they noticed, like Jerry Seinfeld and Jay Leno and all these guys, all of them were using it as a stepping stone to get into television. Not that they weren't funny, but they had like a, a bigger agenda ahead to try and get to. So that's why Ken always kind of had that more kind of quirky humor. And uh, also, we're always in the middle of the States and Europe. If you think of everything from like gun control all the way to comedy, we're always kind of a mix of Europe and North and uh, the United States. And this guy like is like the old kids in the hall. I, I really, really was blown away by him last night. It took me a while because I wasn't too sure about him coming on. Not that he's a bad guy, but that was the one that really made me wonder like, how is this going to turn out? Because it could be really good or it could be really horrible. Mm -hmm. You know, not that he's horrible, but like, you know, for you guys. And it's nice. And it's rewarding to know that we, somebody like even like his comedy could let go a little bit and open up to us as well. So he talked about like you know what it was like being in high school and feeling kind of isolated and stuff, and how the characters were kind of a release from that. And yeah, I think it turned into a little bit more personal. Uh, yeah. For the second half of the stream, more behind the character, uh, which is different from what he usually does when he's uh, on the shows. So. Yeah uh definitely uh, if you get past <laughs> he's a nice guy like you know you can see oh, that yeah. and i mean like most musicians it usually takes a tortured soul to be the be the most creative and uh yeah he was pretty cool uh, i really really impressed <laughs> i seen uh, brooks comment about deodorant and then <laughs> she's <laughs> see what happens to brooke when you give her a wrench yeah i know I right know. to the yeah, head yeah, yeah, yeah. she goes right to it no mercy for anybody oh, oh uh, we uh, did. You had you in stitches yeah no it was and Dini calls it yes of course life yeah. first as we always say school adding to work and family life is a lot so is it yeah. safe <laughs> simon you can feel those wombs again, uh, those uteruses coming together, can't you, right, Donnie? No, I think Simon is talking in him. Touring Taste Buds, hello. Oh, oh Hi. excellent. Hey, yeah. Happy Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> yes, th and thank you, Remy, for uh, retweeting uh, Blue Wrench. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, uh, <laughs> we have just tweeted out just the word Blue Wrench on our Twitter. So if you want to go out and tweet it. That's really cool, guys. Yeah, if you can do that one, that's kind of fun. Uh, 
Remy Moore, it looks like you're having a good time. I'm, I'm so glad to see that. I know you know some of the channels here already and stuff like that. Yeah, there is our Twitter if you're going to just Oops. go and have fun. And the more fun is that actually people are using already the hashtag for some kind of company. So I can only imagine in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. What is that? They're all tweeting stuff. Um, <laughs> That's how it rolls. Sometimes I think their characters become their public persona and that gives them a sense of personal security. Definitely. Most definitely. I mean, that's their their retreat when they're nervous or things are bothering them or if they feel uncomfortable in crowds and all those things. Def most definitely. Uh, Saturday, yeah. Uh, were you on Saturday? You are here quite often. So um, Saturday we had our own. Yeah, we were on the podcast. Why don't we do, why don't we do another fast recap? We got some new ones in here in that. To the list and just tell everybody just what like is going to come on. Yeah, we just go through. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. So tomorrow we have Violet Bird, uh, a very amazing Canadian girl with Ukrainian blood, uh, quirky and funny. Uh, then later on, we have on Friday we have uh, Host Gear on our Mister familiar <laughs> uh, on saturday hashtag millions missing me and two other beautiful ladies one is instagram queen the other one twitter queen um uh, not too much related with youtube maybe just a little bit uh them and me are going to be talking about invisible illnesses and raising awareness for hashtag millions missing uh which is a 12th of May is the day of it all over the world. We're going to be talking about each other's experiences of invisible illnesses and uh, discussing the emotion subjects with people in chat, just uh, trying uh, uh, to talk more about it. And uh, <clears throat> Monday, we're going to have Arte Mortifica, as we were talking about that. Definitely looking forward to talking about photography. And Tuesday Tech Talk, of course, and Trailer Park Guy is going to be on. That's, That's going to be, be good, fun. guys. Trailer Park Guy is going to be awesome. But they're all awesome. Excuse me. I shouldn't even say it that way. but Yeah, it, yeah. it's, uh, it's got to be different. <laughs> Geeks Paranormal, uh, a little bit of hint of paranormal in different wrapping this time. And our New Zealand Friends is going to be on next Friday. Uh, then the Chambly Fennel, Millie and Ashley, with hiking distance and so on up until the end of the month. So uh, a lot of amazing guests coming up. Yeah. Uh, this month's Danny show, of course, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mention you <laughs> or Simon, <laughs> as he likes him to be called sometimes. Uh, so yeah, lots of amazing guests. Mm. Uh, definitely tune in every night, 8 p.m. Eastern, except for Sundays where we will have our living photo series. And this week, I'm thinking right now, is going to be Austria. I'm going to start work on it tonight, I think. Yeah, it is cool. It's it's amazing how much it's grown that people want now to be on. Like, we get questions. Is there any way you can squeeze me in on such and such a date? Yeah. it's It blows me away. I uh, I don't know. I find it so cool. I, and, on, and honored at the same time. I mean, we've had such a variety of channels. Uh, it, it's, I think that's the nice thing about it is the variety. I, it almost feels like each night, like you're clicking the remote and finding a new channel to watch. Yeah, no, it's not Trailer Park Boys. It's Trailer Park Guy. Trailer Park Guy, yeah. We yeah. should promote it as Trailer Park Boys. So we, we should, get the, yeah, yeah. We get, yeah, uh, we wish. Well, maybe one day, uh, you know. He was in a while ago. And how I found him, it was on a Saturday morning. And I was just clicking around, looking at some of the live streams, and this one came up. And it has all the – he had on this these people, and most of them are from – well, two of them are from England. Oh, uh, uh, Spoken to Grill and AB, thank you. Uh, working and listening to us, watching when you can, uh, we truly appreciate it. Thank you. It's good to always to have, to have you around, my friend. And we're definitely getting you on soon, right? Oh, yes, definitely, yeah. definitely. Uh, Is him and Jay Way going to be together? Well, I don't know if they're coming on together or not. Or we still haven't. Or, uh, okay. We are in talks of the date. Excellent. Okay. I will keep my nose out of it now. So uh, she's in your forward. hands, my friend. Good yeah, luck to you. Looking forward, but we are still uh, on the yeah. date now. Because, yeah, it's been so m many people. It's hard sometimes to schedule with the time differences and so on. But uh, we'll definitely make it happen. So. 
Um, oh, that air, uh, JJ, uh, smoking and grilling with uh, AB just dropped a comment on your air fried chicken video. That thing I watched at like two o'clock in the morning, and I think I had a at eight o'clock in the morning informing her we were having fried chicken for supper. We don't have an air fryer at the moment, but we still had fried chicken because it was just uh, unbelievable to watch. And uh, yeah, so the uh, trailer park guy. So I tune in this thing. He's got this old British lady, and he's got this other guy. He's this opinion guy. He's got a big rim hat on with a scarf. He's got another old lady that was, uh, I don't know, what really to this day quite what her stick was. Well, she had a puppy. She had a puppy. That's right. Yeah, that's right. She was talking about the dog's ass at one point. <laughs> and the other old lady was complaining that when she went, when she went to the bathroom at night, she heard a bang and scared her. It was her, it was her boobs hitting the ground. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, Almighty. <clears throat> and he's got this great control over it with letting them kind of go on their own at the same time and that it's such a good channel i got it was so funny yeah because i usually don't stay on that long i watched the thing for like an hour and a half i think or something oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it was fun yeah it's it take yeah am radio and kind of springer put together a bit but without going too too far but yeah it was really good and we like that to try and find channels that you guys don't see all the time so it opens up new doors for you guys and the same as their viewers to find you, so. Uh, yeah, by the way, JJ's on wine and, and um, uh, Miss Cassie's on her third beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right, I gotta have another day. talk with them. She had a long day today, so. <clears throat> it's never too late to get help. And as we always tell Steph, best friend of your thread, and now we'll tell Kathy, when you're ready to give up the bottle and you can't figure you can go on anymore without a drink, or you're crying in the shower, hugging a bottle of hooch, just know there is help out there. I'm going to post the local AA office in your area. It's discreet, and we'll get you back into life. Alcohol free. And back to our show. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Mickey Wilson is on fire tonight. <laughs> What's in my cup? Well, I don't know. Xenia put it in there. We're sharing it, so. Mm. That's right. Mm. What for a small fee? <laughs> One million dollars. <laughs> Drive a hard bargain. <laughs> uh, yeah. You guys are so awesome. Oh, that's this has been fun, my mm -hmm. God, today. Yeah. It's, uh, very unplanned, but therefore even more better. Didn't get a lot of tech, but we got a lot of laughs in. Well, we that did was some tech. Yeah. Very, very. Oh, uh, I have no regrets about it. I just <laughs> laughing at the title. It was a speed tech question, one yeah. after another. Broke. Woohoo, Kathy is a one beer away from four. <laughs> <laughs> Brooke, you're so funny. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, my God. She always got to uh, support me. Kathy. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Million subs by tomorrow. Yeah. Um, uh, we're banking on it. <laughs> Yes, we actually were talking about yes, you, we were. Kathy. Yeah, so, so I even sent you a message. Yeah, so we did miss yeah. you. Hopefully everything is fine. You and Steph get the same treatment. AA when you're ready to walk away from the booze. Paid entertainment wouldn't be near as good as this live stream. Aww. Aww. Oh, How sweet. nice is that? I want James Corbin's job. I just want James Corbin to go away. According, I go whatever the hell. Yeah. What I, did do you miss? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, you are one beer away from four. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> my God, I'm losing my. And voice. you got the heart, the heart about uh, 
getting help. Because Brooke, every time she's in the closet, we say that she's drinking vodka or crying in the shower with Brooke a hooch. Brooke now. Oh, no, Brooke, well, Brooke too. Well, maybe I Brooke think Brooke, does it too. I think Brooke's got the wild <laughs> side. I think Brooke, Brooke is like, I can see Brooke is like a moonshine runner or something like that. that tries to act all sweet and everything else. True, with about 30 mason jars all put in the trunk. <laughs> Rick running shotgun. <laughs> yeah, Andrew is, yeah. Andrew's what? <laughs> well, we understood. <laughs> Girl talk. Uterus talk. <laughs> uh. It's true, y'all. He sure wants her to talk. <laughs> It'd be funny. We went through. No, you're not going to stop there. I can see it. I can I can feel the energy. I think tonight you're ready. I can see Kathy finishing one off and crushing the can on her head, put it down, and go for the next one. She's out. <laughs> She's on a mission tonight. How's that hubby of yours doing, Kathy? Maybe he wants to get into live streams more now. Yeah, uh, they should. He's great for it. The two of you guys together, that would be an awesome live stream. <laughs> Uh, I know. <laughs> well, the three beer that will help take the edge off and give you a good night's sleep. So, oh, Chris is out of town. Oh. How did you know? Well, <laughs> written all over your face, girl. You're a good moonshine runner, but not a poker player. <laughs> Potato sack. That's right. <laughs> She's the Terminator. <laughs> Rick told you about the Terminator. <laughs> oh my God, I'm waiting. You guys are something else. Yes, Nicole's. Yes. I drove home all day and came home to a broken pool pump. Kathy writes. Kathy oh, is stuff. Kathy is pool pump code for a case of beer. Simon tired. Simon goes to bed. <laughs> Good night, Simon. By the time feel, you end up on our Seuss. live stream, you're definitely going to be Simon. Yeah. As I was telling you on Twitter, this is going to just now stick out <laughs> with you. So <clears throat> no help with that now. Uh, you, thank you, Happy Canadian. Yeah, for thank you so in. much for coming thank by. You. Oh, my God. Give our best to the missus. <coughs> oh, no. That's not good. Well, thank you for coming in. Yeah, and I yeah. I uh, just uh, put up um, higher up there yeah. the, your Instagram um, link to your uh, street series. So if anybody want to check out um, beautiful photography. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, it's very impressive. Simon, what are you missing? Mickey Wilson, heck me. Heck, Miss Kathy, three more won't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Hope you feel even better tomorrow. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, Happy Canadian. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming by. Hashtag Blue Wrench. Yeah, hashtag Blue Wrench, guys. That, that is cool. I like that. Not really big into the hashtag thing, but that's kind no, of no. Cool. It just was so funny because that's yeah. all I messaged. I, I like I only did that, nothing else, no comments mm. whatsoever. And mm. that is so fun. Mm. I I uh, yeah. Look, see, amazing. That's cool. <laughs> Love it. Uh, um. Are we streaming in the morning? Well, depending tomorrow. Yeah. Oh yes, probably because I have my pink clinic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I'll take you in a few minutes early and we'll come back yeah. and do it. So, so Andrew will be alone at home. <laughs> so he probably is going to be streaming. Oh, Susie, you're taking off? Just one second. Uh, just one second. I got something for you. Where was it? Uh, Corn Life, you are. I thought you were taking a day off. That's good, though. Um, I'm not going to be able to see it. I have my pain clinic at that time, but uh, Andrew's going to be back. 
Andrew Home Alone. I know, I know. And I always wonder when I come back what I'm going to see. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell do you think goes on here? <laughs> I know, I'm just talking with Simon mm. here. Oh, okay. I, I love how everybody have nicknames. <laughs> like Coriolis is Cuffs now. Yeah, I know you've got me saying it sometimes. Well, he said it's fine. It's just way too long. You're off tomorrow. Oh, perfect. Yes, and tomorrow night at 8, uh, we're going to have uh, uh, Violet Bird mm -hmm. on. Violet Bird's going to be really interesting. The fellow Canadian, well, uh, uh, Ukraine. Was she born in the Ukraine and then came over? I think so. I think well, so we'll too. see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kathy, this is Susie's uh, video of her <laughs> unpacking um, coconut chocolate balls, which has uh, become a legendary video. Oh yeah, yeah. You don't 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 say that, Kathy. Right now, you're you're just gonna get them started. You're gonna be very. When it comes to Susie's videos, we're gonna be very choosy on the yeah. word. <laughs> it's a special word combination yeah. here. What did I just watch? Exactly. That's right. Imagine how many views, Susie, you have because of <laughs> yeah, doing that's this right. Movie. I've been helping out. I'm doing my part. I've we all got to do our part. We got to get Susie through it. Though. Yeah, Nicole's. I just tweeted out just the hashtag, nothing else. And uh, some people went and uh, we decided all to tweet it out just for fun. No. Uh... Oh no. <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> I love it. It's the best. Oh my god, I'm dizzy. <laughs> oh my god, that's just perfect. So good night, Susie. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. So well timed. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god oh my god that is so funny yeah great editing well miss kathy since you uh no. don't aware probably andrew just l laid uh, the music track on top of oh this. my god but it's actual oh. original video no. of susie it's not edited that's how yeah. it is there that was just the and stroke up until spoiled andrew's uh oh. thinking went to susie's channel to check her videos out she never was aware even of this <laughs> Never since then we have been watching it all the time. Oh my god, lady. It's just oh. not a night on the stream unless we get to watch that. Yeah. Oh. You're never going to be able to look at the snowballs in the store. <sighs> uh, you know, the same. It's impossible now. <laughs> the, the smoking a grill and AB. Maybe you could do a collab with Susie and her hostess cakes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Haunted or intrigued, Mickey? Mm? He said, Mickey says, I'll be haunted by uh, in my dreams by Big Green. Who has? And I said, would he be haunted or intrigued? <laughs> I don't even like those things, but she makes me want to get <laughs> some just to fondle it. <laughs> Susie, you gotta make a gif out of that oh, yeah, piece. Yeah. Uh, out of those few seconds, you gotta cut it out and make a gif oh my God. on giphy.com. <laughs> it's gonna go viral. I, I, I promise you. you. You gotta put it out there. We're gonna oh. tweet out, the hell out of it. Uh, it's gonna go crazy. Just those few two, two, three, or oh, more than three seconds. Wait, wait, I gotta read this with my glasses on. Uh, that's how I roll at my next physical. I'm going to play that video as the doctor goes in for the grab. <laughs> Oh my god. 
Oh my god, I think it's so funny. Yes, yeah. Yes, Susie. Definitely. I'm trying to help you here, Susie. I'm getting you more coverage. I mean, nobody nobody's video since we started this live stream has gotten anywhere even close to the coverage that that one does. Mind so. you, he also plays it outside of the live stream. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go away, Xenia. <laughs> oh no, what are we doing again? Uh, I bought, I bought, that's why I bought Xenia green bra the other day. It's inspired by the video. Yeah. So, a lot of inspiration. <laughs> that's it. He's dying. <laughs> oh, I could just pitch the green bra. I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god, oh my god. <clears throat> I need some coffee. Oh my god. Oh, I get tears in my eyes. Oh, that's how I roll. Yeah. Tweeted a, a great gif. A determined soul will do more with a rusty blue wrench than a fool will accomplish with a full toolbox. <laughs> Hashtag blue wrench. <laughs> oh, that is sweet. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that is oh, perfect. This is so cool. Mm. You guys are amazing. Oh. You guys are so creative. I love it. Oh, my God almighty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. She was just caught up in the moment, Mickey. That's why she did it. <laughs> yes, next prostate exam, uh, Southwest scenes, exactly. Uh, like you can do, like uh, that's how I roll. We can get the music playing just before the doc comes in, slapping on the glove. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are absolutely phenomenal, and I love that. I love that with the spider with the wrench and the quote. That was that's just like, perfect. yeah, you're gonna see that. That's mm. how I roll. Tweet uh, for blue wrench, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's funny. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. I'm on something from her channel before she does the cherry pies with the pink fingernails. I think I could die and go to hell and still be the Oh, I ever. remember you guys talking about oh. apple pies with bottle caps, okay? <laughs> and I had to put you in detention, you both. <laughs> so, but she does have a chocolate covered cherry video if you haven't seen there. <laughs> That's pretty awesome too. I think that was a special dedication to bottle caps. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I bet your bottle caps wasn't flying a drone that day when it came out. Um, yeah, lots of cigarettes smoking there. What happened to Stephanie? Did she pass out or something? Well, she has interview tomorrow. Oh, right, right. Okay, I thought she was. In... Well, maybe she's somewhere else. I don't know. Passed out drunk or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I've missed you all this past week. I've been so busy. Yeah, I know. It's nice. That's why it's so nice to have you in here, Kathy. I, I, I swear to God, I'm like one of her students because I got to fight with everything inside me not to say Miss Kathy all the time. Mm. Scared to watch them. <laughs> yeah, and of course, you're, uh, you know, a green snowball video can be worked into your outdoor channel. You know, I must have That's right. for survival. That's I mean, right. it's necessary, you know. You get warmth out of it. Yeah. So it, it gets your blood flowing. Nurturing. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hell is fine, Donnie. Don't worry, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's nothing to freak out over. You'll be good. <laughs> yeah, I know. I did a pan. Uh, he says we uh, panic do videos. He says, uh, Andrew, you should put the, that on as your intro for your live streams. <laughs> <laughs> it's something to consider. <laughs> I'm not saying no to it. <laughs> I'd have to try and get the rights uh, past. Uh, Try and get the rights past Susie. She's well, that's what I'm saying. Cookie. It would go viral. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> she 100%. needs that gif. Chop it off and make yeah. it a gif. <laughs> it's it's going to be Ms. crazy. Miss Kathy's laughing about my comment. We want to call her Miss Kathy all the time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. You guys are so funny. <laughs> Yes, uh, Miss Kathy, actually, the other night we had uh, Panic D videos on, him and his lovely wife, 
and we were talking we had a bad storm that night and we were talking about paranormal he believes but his wife is a biologist and uh she's the skeptic and they monitor for uh, paranormal and and they're quite good at it like i like the way they do it it's not like a ooh with a white sheet they really go into it with like thousand dollars of equipment and Xenia and I, and Xenia is very uh, into it, and I'm the skeptic. And I was saying that night, I said, the only place I've ever been that I've ever felt anything, and I said it's probably just because of the location, was when I was in Auschwitz. And no more than I said the word, basically, eh? Yeah. The power went out. On Literally, the right after the word, the power went out. So creepy. Oh, I mean, yeah. yes, we had a storm outside, yeah. but just the coincidence of the subject, uh, that was such a coincidence. I and I'm sorry because I am a skeptic. I believe it's a coincidence, but it was one heck of a coincidence. Yeah. Like, a, if you ever go back to the look, it was the other night because there's two parts of the video. You just got to watch like the, even just the last five minutes, and you'll see what had happened. But that was really weird. And I don't mean to make light of Auschwitz. It was just no, weird no, the way no. It worked, of course, you know? uh, definitely not oh. in any way. No. But uh, just the fact that the light went out when we were talking about, yeah. you know. Uh, she says that would freak me out. Yeah, no, it was Yeah, weird. it did us too in a, a bit because although it was coincidence, it was a really mm -hmm. good good timing for that. That's true. Yeah, Nicole's. Yeah, we're still on the same subject. Don't yeah. worry. Had to had to watch it three times to show the why. My God. Yeah. Well, Susie is definitely getting the watch time there. <laughs> just on that. I would want to see your analytics for that video alone. It yeah. probably shot up so yeah. much. <laughs> Everybody's watching it. I hope so. I hope that's what they're doing. Yeah. That was um, funny. Uh, Josier, yes, you'll be watching Friday. Funny mm -hmm. one. You're going to be on on Friday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. You see, you say that. That's what it, uh, you know. And I, me, everything is a coincidence. Everything is just. Well, you know, a reason I, it. I, I know, I know. It was, you know, it was a storm, and it was. But the timing but was the, just the timing was really. You know, yeah. you never know. And I was serious at that moment, like you know, that's when I was saying, like, yeah, it is intense in there, like. It, in Auschwitz, like it's a feeling you've never had in your life, it, and it, it's just. It's it's one of the weirdest, strangest feelings you ever try to explain to somebody. And so I was really talking intensely, but just it started and zoop, power gone. Yeah, and, and Andrew was saying that it's one of yeah. the rare places where he I did already, uh, where he actually felt like that energy, right? Because he doesn't really believe in that stuff. So just the yeah. whole sentence and then that happening was really um, interesting. Yeah. No, it was. It was. Uh, and he was like, when we came back on, he's like, don't say the A word. Yeah, you know, yeah, right yeah, away yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. And everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. lots of people lurking, Kathy. Yeah. Uh, some people are just shy. Some people I know are listening because they're yeah. doing something else and using us as podcast, which is more than fine. Yeah. I don't uh, mind that but the there's way. also uh, always some people that are watching yeah. but are not participating. Uh, that's okay. They're always welcome. Their views count just much. Oh, and there are a couple just popped away. <laughs> <laughs> no, we scared them away. Yes, yeah. blindly, honestly. Hashtag blue reg, hashtag equality. We are all here the same. <laughs> That's what you miss. You also missed uh, green cocoa balls and a lot of after party fun. We're way beyond <sighs> tech talks today. So if that's what you were looking for, we're not really doing that. We're just hanging out with everybody. Just a nice, easy going kind of night. And custom cards. See it just listening. So we appreciate oh. that too. Hey, have at it. How you doing? Strong lurking mm -hmm. from the corner. Oh no. <laughs> there you go. Have at it. Now you're a moderator too. <laughs> Who was a moderator yet? Yeah. Have at it. Oh. No, no. We can't have that. Nope. That's not our philosophy. <laughs> And you know, all joking aside, this I like that a lot of you guys mention it in comments and uh, here and like under videos and stuff. How much you appreciate that everybody is a moderator and how fair it is. And I'm glad because, like I say, it is kind of a, it's a, it's it is a message to it. So, and I appreciate that you guys get it and uh, uh, it it mean it it 
it's it's made to bond everybody together. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. And blindly, honestly, it was really great hanging out with you the other night. It was yeah. fun uh, with a um, uh, girl. You were telling makeup me. Makeup tips, yeah. Especially the tutorial on eyelashes. I'm still, I still, I still haven't gotten to the store, but I, mm. I am. I still have a few questions, so I'll have to go on your next one um, before I actually put them on. Uh, do anything about evening it out. Evening it out. With the... I do have a tech question. Oh, okay. But I noticed that people's audio levels on the video portion is much lower than on their intro where the music is so loud. Can people editing on cell phone do anything about evening it out? Well, you should be. It depends on the what you are you using for editing yeah. uh, the video. Um, it should have... Uh, option there for uh equalizing the volume so you should look for the app that has that if you're using phone for editing i would assume it's so specific to each software that's the hardest part is software because every one of them has different capabilities and it's really hard to even know like you know one from the other and especially cell phones because we don't do video on cell phone but i'd like to i'd like to just know more about it just so i could even answer better questions on it i always say like if you ever have a question about your especially like any like software or uh, well let's take software let's just go and see type it in google like how do i adjust volumes in blank whatever your software is You'd be amazed how many people have asked the same question you've looked for. And most times you even get the luxury of picking from many different answers to, to, for the one that suits you best. It, 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 people kind of forget that sometimes because they always think, well, it's kind of specific. And you don't have to word it like it's not like years ago where you had to word it like to match perfectly. Just write it out as a question. Even hit uh, Google Voice, you know, how do I adjust the volume in vegas and it should come up is patsy here yeah just came in patsy Hulahan. patsy you might want to talk pick and choose your words with miss kathy because she's been hitting the sauce tonight so we're all just kind of treating her with kid gloves because she um, might get angry blindly honestly can you tweet at me when you are uh on so then uh, I know, because oftentimes, again, I can't trust YouTube and my brain to remember. So if you can tweet at us uh, when you're live, I would love to join. The man with the 70s porn star name, Larry Johnson's in the house. Larry Welcome. Johnson. I love it. I don't know. There's something so amazing. With Stefan uh, from Best Friend Your Thread and I had like a half hour conversation one night discussing his name. Yeah. I don't know. I like it. It's always got. The, she still thinks it's the the basketball influence, but no, I give them seventies porn star. Larry Johnson, do you have a mustache like a porn stash? And if not, I think you should grow one. Night, Susie. <laughs> Finally, you can go to sleep. <laughs> Oh, you found a good video editor which includes audio adjustments uh, on Android. Perfect. There, there you, you go. go. JJ, video show. Video. JJ, are you there? It's called video show. Let's see. That's amazing with the audience because there's people that even here that have done a lot of what you're somebody's looking for. How could you turn down Susie? No, no, no. Uh, she, <laughs> she was getting for bed like 40 minutes ago. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> yes, yes, my God. There's yeah. lots of them. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Filmora Wondershare. I don't think it's free. Yeah, yes, yes, it's true, too. <laughs> Mickey! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <gasps> oh no! Oh my God, I'm hitting. <laughs> Larry needed to see the teeth. <laughs> Simon Rook. 
Is that your last name now, <sighs> Simon? <laughs> well, even you, Teethrog. Yeah. yeah, it should be. I, I, I don't know how many times I've wanted to call you Teethong. So yeah, you're already kind of close there. So. Uh, mind you, have at it could be quite the poor name too if it was useful. <laughs> I think that could be the name for a movie. <laughs> it's kind of inviting. It is. It is. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you guys are amazing. I just seen all the retweets of the stream with the blue wrench. That's so cool, guys! Thank you so much That's for doing so that. So cool. Uh uh. Uh, that's what I thought too, Remy, that most of them should. Yeah, they should, but they don't, and especially the the phone editors. But there, you know, there are advantages, disadvantages to that. Mm. So, mm. Patsy, my live streams are better if I'm talking to someone. Well, we'll have to get Patsy on. Yes, definitely. Patsy, would you like to be a guest? Or we can do the other way around too. But yeah, whichever. Or we can do both. Or we can do both. Um, yeah, congratulations, have at it. Uh, you got 850. Perfect. Yeah. What about. Honestly. <laughs> sure, why not? I like that answer. Honestly, tempting. <laughs> Yeah, great. Potato sack. Butterfly. Brooke, it's like the fourth time, to, time tonight. I wonder what is Rick doing there? You're calling for potato sack. Uh -huh. <laughs> maybe he's back. So that's a, or maybe that's how he heard he's back. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. The back, the neck, all of that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, the, you see, we're getting... Even after we're done interviewing, we're still getting to the heart of the news here. <laughs> well, we hope you're back too, Larry Johnson. Do they need you on set? <laughs> I <laughs> hope. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm asking. What, what could have happened in does, the meantime? Does he have to go I... see the fluffer or what? You know what the fluffer is? No. <laughs> Jesse, I don't want to know. <laughs> They prep the guy before he goes out, fluff it out, so it's not. <laughs> oh yeah, Kathy, remember we? <laughs> yeah, we could do it as funny as that time. Uh, so definitely, that would be awesome to have you on. Oh. God, I can't. Like, every time I gotta close up all these windows. I get too much. Remy Moore, I think it's as well. What? They need a, a cool '70s porn name. Well, more right away. You're you're on the hot seat right there. Give me more. Remy Tom. Mm -hmm. Pin it. <laughs> God, jeez. That's from Pinterest. <laughs> well, uh, well, if it's from Pinterest, it's got to be good. Player view. <laughs> Unreal. Okay, the porn star name <laughs> generator is coming in. Ah, uh, 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 uh. uh, well, we just Larry Johnson came in, so that always comes with uh, talks about uh, porn, star, porn name. star names, yeah. Because his name is Larry Johnson, and Larry Johnson is the ultimate seven. Oh, okay, so we can generate it just by name. So Remy Moore. Comes. Butt dangle. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it said. Uh, you can find every single Google. You just put your name in and it comes up with something. Yes. Anybody else wants a new porn name? Yes, Jesse Gillette. I don't know why yours keeps happening because everybody that comes in here, I always open up a tab. 
because <clears throat> I try to watch one after when everything's done, and I don't know why yours always just goes in automatically to that. So you are right. <laughs> That's was uh, Remy Moore's uh, new name, uh, not ours, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> they call. <laughs> Blindly, honestly, okay. You know what Brooke's poor name is? What? The Crippler. What? Because <laughs> she knocked, she crippled Rick. Oh <laughs> Sloppy peachy butt for blindly, honestly. <laughs> That's a pretty se sexy one. Not, yeah. That's what all the kids oh, are watching these it's days. It's magic, yeah. Ooh. Oh, it's magic for the intro, yes, Ooh. yeah. Oh my god, I'm waiting. Yeah. Yeah, blindly, honestly, I, I get where you're coming from. Yeah. Anybody else up for grabs? <laughs> it's, yeah, there's the Southwest Thieves potato sack, Rick. At least we're all starting to finally come together as men for five seconds. <laughs> yes, yes, Nicole's exactly. Yeah, Kathy, that top chat sucks. I know I have it on that some uh, every once in a while. I'll forget to switch it over. Well, that's pretty cute, though. Slappy peachy butt. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so wrong and so real. <laughs> um, Blindly, honestly, I need the bedazzled, uh, that bedazzled on a pair of boot of uh, boot sh booty shoots. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <clears throat> like a rhinestone princess. <laughs> Yeah, Patsy, especially when there's lots of people in the chat, then it's better to put them in a live one because it might not uh, show you some AI <laughs> things less important ones. I don't know how do they filter that out ever, but... That's right, blindly, honestly. <laughs> so funny. Just the, be old, the old bedazzler, that was always such a great... God, you remember those infomercials for those things? Horrible. It's downright, downright adorable. adorable. Yes, it is. <laughs> ne never said any fun about the first time. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. <laughs> She's yeah. unreal. Yeah, see, it's almost 20 to 12 here. Yeah, Kathy was saying it's almost 10 30 there. When do you all go to sleep? We don't know anymore. Sleep really. is overrated. You know, some nights, uh, like, uh, we kind of work in shifts and with especially days with kids and that. I've seen myself just fall asleep in this couch for like 30 minutes and Xenia will wake me up. It's like five minutes to go on and like all the light, you wake up and all the lights are around and the laptops are going at a, the, the webcam sticking in the face. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Well, Rick, you, oh, you gotta oh, stay I didn't still. Say, oh, that's you gotta right. stay still. Did you not learn your lesson the last time she put you on the couch for a couple of days? I do sometimes sleep during the day just because of my condition. I get very like fatigued, um, and I'm still adjusting to my new um, sleeping schedule. So I do sleep sometimes, sometimes all day if I don't have anything else planned. Unfortunately. Oftentimes I feel guilty and it oftentimes feels like I'm wasting time, but um, yeah, but it's nothing to do with uh, with late nights. It's more with my condition. So. I didn't mean to laugh. You just at the same time, Irvin de Torres, or what's my porn name to sign in with Susie's channel with. <laughs> <laughs> and you see Remy said, LOL, give me more was a hashtag I was going to use for a while back. Well, Go for it. It's not like anybody could think anything bad out of it. Exactly. I okay. think it's a great idea. Napping rocks, Doug says. Duels by Doug says. That's right. <laughs> That's I didn't it. sleep today, though. That's the land. My eyes don't close. <laughs> Jeez. Um, Neither did Xenia's when we first met. And I'm sitting there. I were laying there in Latvia. And we're watching TV. And she has our arm around me behind me. And she would fall asleep in like mid sentence. We'd be watching TV, and she'd be like, uh, "You know, I'd say, uh, hun, uh, did you watch this show?" And the yeah, we used to watch it sometimes. Then I'd be like, "Hun," I turn around. This is what I would get. 
If that doesn't freak you out, nothing does. Thank God she finally closed her bloody eyes. That's all I got to say. Yeah. No, I usually sleep all day, maybe once a week. Then yeah. I really sleep or, or flip it up. I didn't sleep today. Andrew didn't sleep too much today either. Mm. Oh, by the way, Irvin, it's Dirk Tang. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. Uh, <laughs> Unreal. Oh, Doug, you do that too. There you go. Yeah. She, you don't do it anymore. No, our daughter does it instead. <laughs> yeah, I know. Glad she picked up that tree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Audrey, you going to bed? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing right. like a seven year old. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. Yeah. I kind of feel like you're in The Exorcist or something like that. Most people mm -hmm. don't. Yeah, well, oh, that's okay. interesting. Wait, but that's why i don't know how i i don't know why i was sleeping with eyes open my daughter now does it um it's not so uncommon as people think sleep was always a struggle for me i was never a big sleeper like even the teenage years where everybody sleeps in 12 hours and back then even if i went to if i fell asleep at one i was usually back up by five i had done that kind of sucked because i was kind of jealous of the people who could sleep better because it was uh I'm like once every once in a while, I would have a crash out. Eh? I'm like what ten hours. Yeah. And then after that, I'm back to no. Uh, my sister was the exact opposite. For every hour that I was awake, she was asleep basically. <laughs> but she uh, yeah, Patsy, definitely you 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 definitely we gotta get in touch and we'll arrange a date. That would be perfect. Um. Oh, they're just so long about peachy butts. <laughs> you have to sleep in 90. Well, yeah I, yeah. I mean, I know that it has to be uneven time because uh, when we were studying about the sleep patterns and <clears throat> effective sleep, uh, when I was saying psychology in university, uh, it's better to sleep uneven uh, numbers of hours than even. Uh, so it's better to sleep seven hours than eight, although it's it's more. <clears throat> because of the way your sleep uh, phases are uh, from the rapid move, eye movement sleep to the deep sleep and going back, it goes like waves. Uh, so it depends on, on which part you wake up. If you wake up in the middle of the deep phase sleep, you're going to feel very tired and sleepy all day. Uh, and if you wake up on that rapid eye movement sleep, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's better for, for you through the day. So therefore, uneven is better. Blindly, honestly, no guns and roses. I blame on my sister in law breaking a, out a bottle of night train before the concert and Dodgers and movies were waking up at 6 a.m. to do my makeup. Yeah, she was saying that she was falling asleep at the Dodgers game and at the Guns N' Roses concert. Oh, okay, now I get it. Okay, I just should have went back for <laughs> my when I was growing up, we had the uh, one of those, um, you know. They're about that big, and you have the turntable, and then my father had the A-track player that he wouldn't get rid of that we hated. All made by Zenith, all new stuff. And these two gigantic Zenith speakers, you know what they were like. They had speakers in about 12 inches, four of them. Every Sunday morning, without fail, my father made breakfast for all of us. And without fail came bluegrass music, like blaring loud at 6 a.m. I never hated music so much in my entire existence as I did those first couple of years of my life. Because you'd be asleep and then you'd hear the banjo. And everything like that. And you come down, my father would be all happy, flipping bacon. I'd be seeing him like a rotting ghost like they do in The Simpsons when Bart's mad at Homer. And to this day, that's why I hate bluegrass, is for that exact reason. <laughs> yes, thank you, Blind, honestly. I needed the... It was not fun. <laughs> yes, Nicole. Obviously, uh, mind over matter works. Uh, that's why placebo effects. The whole point of placebo effect is mind over matter, right? Uh, so it's been proven it it works. And therefore, what you're talking about, the positive uh, attitude, definitely works. The same as they talk about people smiling. You know, uh, even if you don't feel like smiling, if you make yourself actually do that uh, movement, you know, because it's you know, guys, that uh, the most muscles involved uh, in person's bodies when they're smiling. So when you do that on purpose, even forced, after a while, you, it actually releases serotonin and improves your mood. Although at first you didn't feel like 
and it really was forced after a while it becomes part of your mood so uh definitely it's a, it's it's not just uh, mind over matter psychologically it also the way it works our chemicals in our brain so i agree sw themes thank you so much for coming and yes definitely anytime your time is valuable but anytime you spend with us we appreciate you using it here uh you guys you're awesome too really awesome love you guys' channel i've been watching it right from the beginning since uh, we started getting back into youtube and hashtag blue wrench love it thank you so much i take care bud yeah. this was fun today yeah it was jesse it's such a pleasure thank you so much for coming i'll try to see if i can open your intro again the next time you're in because we don't want to break consistency so <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it seems like it's always because I have all the volumes turned down on it. So when a new one opens up, it does the same. But it's always probably because you come in after I'm teasing Susie with that video. So yes, exactly. That's exactly why. Yeah. Yes. That's so. Got to keep tradition. And if, I, if you come in, you don't hear it, tell me and I'll turn it on just so we can say we did it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, Jess. Miss Kathy, it's yes, such a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank Love you all you too. for being part of this tonight. Yeah. It was really awesome. Tomorrow is Violet Bird, so it's going to be fun. Hopefully some singing, maybe some Pictionary. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, I think it's time, eh? Gets because kids will be up early and everything else, and just been so cool hanging with you guys. Like, I mean, I really love this, there's a great bunch to hang out with. Yeah, you're really excited, Nicholas, after a good day. Well, that's good to hear. I like seeing people have good days. Well, thank you so much, uh, guys. JJ, uh, you take care. Yeah, drive safe tomorrow. Yes. Blindly, honestly, thank you so much. So, and I hope you can make it back again really soon. Yeah, and tweet me out on Thursday so I don't forget and come over. You guys really make it a great show. Mickey's out. Mickey, you take care of yourself. Have a great one. Thank you so much. Have at it. Thank you for your time this morning. It's been really, uh, really a pleasure to have you here. And you too. I hope you can make it back soon. Teethrog, thank you so much for coming. It's been a real pleasure. They're such amazing people. <laughs> well, thank you yeah. very much, guys. And yeah. uh, see you all tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern. If you can't make it, uh, just tune in the next day. 8 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be here. Love having you as real life comes first. Cheers, guys, and keep creating. Bye. Have a good night. Bye now. Thanks for coming. <laughs>